Happy yeah. Sunday. Oh, we got a full house. Apple is here. Apple's first tonight. Hi, beautiful Apple. Hi, Poppy. Hi, Jan. Oh, Hi, Julie. Hi, Jan. Hi, Julie. Yeah, so nice of you all to join us tonight. It's warm. I got my windows open. It's it's nice. Our weather has been so weird. It was, was hot. It was cold and rainy, and then it was now it's getting nice again. <laughs> It's just been really, really wild. But right now it's beautiful. I'm just waiting for the YouTube to catch up. Oh, yeah. I forgot there to go. There it is. There oh, it is. Okay. And I didn't even go. Let's see. I better get mine on here. It's quite a bit of a lag. I usually try to mute and then bring that up because I don't want it interrupting. And oh, meanwhile, oh. I'm not saying hi to people. <laughs> so, oh, hi, everybody. <laughs> Yeah. Hi, Poppy and Jan and Julie and Apple. Oh, I Everybody. just got the notifications. I've been getting notifications really late. Mm -hmm. Hi, Cheryl. Hi, Cheryl. Dandy's Unlocked Treasures. I, you do. I never think of that. To mute myself first before I do that. Yeah. yeah. Hi, Cheryl. Hi, Dandy. Hey, How you doing? Thank you for coming. I'm going to move my camera for just a second. Sorry, everyone. Uh, noise is outside. So I'm going to mute this for a second and see what's going on. Oh, hope you're all having a great weekend. We have some sun this afternoon. Looking good. Yeah, it's like a little sun around here. Yes. <sighs> Hi, Better. Patty Pauls. Hi, Becky. <laughs> Hi, Patty and Becky. YouTube is being funky today, huh? Yeah. That happens. What's the weather like where you are, Sabrina? It is 53. But, oh, okay. you know, it's supposed to be 73 tomorrow and then rain the next four to five days. It's like what we have, kind of like what we have. Only we have one day of rain. Let's see what is here. Hi, Becky. Hi, Patty Paws. Let's see. What do we have right now? I know it's nice. We have 51. It's 70 right now. Woohoo. Yes. Next That's Thursday is going to get up to 93. Ugh. Oh, oh wow. That is so soon. Well, we're supposed to be in the 80s right now. So we've been having, really? which I love, it's been below normal, which is really great. I'll take the cool weather anytime. I don't want to have to turn the AC on. Oh, that's just horrible. Yeah. So. Yeah, it's been windy here too. Today is better. I think um, was it Saturday, Friday? Friday was really windy. Hi, Lynn. Hi, Lynn. Hello, Lynn. Yeah. Everybody, everybody have a nice weekend. You guys, doing yeah. we've been watching basketball. Oh, have you? Basketball, yeah. It's been exciting. Is it still going on, or is it over? It's over. Well, the women's game was today, and it's over. Okay. I think the men's championship game is still happening. I think this. Final four for men's was yesterday. So, oh, your birthday Eve! So happy birthday, Lynn! Must be her birthday. Too. Happy early birthday! Happy birthday! <laughs> we always have a little wind here <clears throat> that comes and goes, kind of comes up the the hill here. Not Hi, sorry. Okay. Okay. I haven't seen you in a while. Wow. All the ways in hair day? Not, not really. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> well, thank you. Yeah. Hi, Kat. Hi, Patricia. Hi, Kat. Hi, Patricia. Hi, John. Oh, Hi. men's championship. Hi, John. Very good. Very good. I don't watch much TV. I Hi, Kat. Yeah. I don't watch sports at all. Yeah. <laughs> I just don't, but 
Yeah. I'm always on YouTube. I watch YouTube more than anything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I've been watching a lot of um, crap, you know, junk journaling things, learning how to make a flip flop book. So that's my next one. Flip -flop. Oh, I don't think I know what a flip flop book is. Well, um, there's a channel called 507 Willow House. I think it's 507 Willow House. I don't know if there's something else after the Willow House. Anyway, she does it out of um, like junk mail, you know, envelopes. So um, you can use different size envelopes. But anyway, so I kind of made one like that. I made the, the start of it, the skeleton, if you want to. Yeah. And now I just have to decorate it. So uh, maybe I'll do that on my video. Hi, Roxana. But it's kind of fun because it, it, it flips out and then one opens and then it also goes flips over to the back side. You know, uh -huh. it's, kind of, it's interesting. If you just Google uh, flip flop journal, you'll see. It's a good way to use up those envelopes. And then you could put like some of them put like four signatures in there because like for every fold, they'll put a little signature and they'll make it quite thick. You know, I don't know if I'll do that. Might, I'll, try, I'll see what I'll do. I don't know yet. I have so many journals started. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. I, it just depends on what kind of mood I'm in, you know. What I yeah, do. make myself finish a journal. Here. Well, that way you you won't get bored with one. That's for sure. <laughs> oh my god! I, mean, I should do that with sewing projects, with cross stitching and oh and yeah, embroidery and stuff. Yeah. Hi, Joanne. Yeah. Well, maybe a while, Julie. <laughs> Right now, I, I mean, I should be working on the ones that I started like last year, but um, I have that Alice one that's almost done. I should, I should finish it. I should just finish what I start, right? <laughs> just <laughs> we've got all these projects going. Well, if you're filming yourself, you'll have a lot of content for your other channel. Yeah, that's true. That's true. But the only thing is with me is I get blocked. I, I just. I don't know, like I'll start and then I can't think of what else to do. If I can do enough, get enough stuff together ahead of time to do it. Like mm -hmm. Julie, Julie's so organized. She but is. That's what I need to do is get organized and know exactly what I'm going to do. But what I do is I'm like, oh, gosh, I don't know what to do now. Just like when I go on Crafty Friday, I just, I, I draw a blank. Oh, Hi, sure. That happens to me too sometimes. Yeah. Hi, Joanne. Hi, Joanne. Are you gonna go see the eclipse? Yeah, that's a big thing everybody's talking about, the eclipse. Yeah, that's true. Are you like me, you had to have a bunch of projects started? <laughs> <laughs> and now I'm trying to rest some uh, paper clips and, and some little, you know, brads and some little, um, what would you call them? Trinkets, you know, try to rest them. But they didn't, it didn't work. I mean, some of them rested, but a lot of them didn't. So I don't know why, it, you know, just for the junk journaling and some pins. The pins, I think, did. And my husband thinks I'm crazy. Why? You know, he doesn't understand. Hi, Mike. He doesn't Rest. understand uh -huh. the thing. Hi, Mike. Mm -hmm. Hello, Mike. But, um, if you're not, it's all an illusion, Julia. <laughs> <laughs> you look very well organized to me. Oh, yeah, you are. <laughs> you are, Julie. Well, well, speaking of that and junk journals, I'll just plug really quick. Julie and I are going to be doing an eight-week live craft with me or craft along series about little golden book junk journals. So we'll have some examples to show you. We'll have some um, tutorials along the way, and we'll have even a show and tell at the end. So you might oh, see fun. she already posted um, the first one, and it'll be starting on the 17th, so in a couple weeks. Oh, cool. That sounds yeah. like fun. Yeah, it'll be exciting. Cool. You said eight weeks? It'll be an eight week weekly live series. Oh, that sounds like fun. Yeah. Yeah. Be good. Hi, I, Angie. Just, I just posted a couple uh drop sale videos of little golden books if anyone's interested. Hi Edward. Hi Edward. Hi Edward. Nice to so see you. People are heading to Arkansas for the eclipse. My so sale of Trisha, <laughs> we're not going to get to see it hmm. here. I don't know. I guess I'm not like other people. I don't get that excited about it, the eclipse. I don't know. I think just because it doesn't happen all the time. Yeah. 
the one that I thought was really cool, and I don't know how long, I want to say maybe 10, 11 years ago, and I don't know what kind of eclipse it was. But I just remember, that's why I was really into photography. And at the time, you could see like through the shadows, little crescent moons. And I don't know what, what eclipse that was, but at a certain time, if you look at all the shadows, like I went outside, I took all kinds of pictures. And it was so cool because all the little, um, like the shadows within the trees, they all were like little crescents. Oh, it was so cool. If I can find that, I wish I could find that. If I can find the picture, I'll post it on um, Instagram. But it was so, or it might even be on somewhere in my Instagram. But it was just so cool. I was like taking pictures of everything because all the little shadows. But it had to be like filtered through the trees, and then then it gave those little crescent moons. It was like, the coolest thing. I was just so fascinated. That was fascinating. But, um, but yeah. So. So welcome everybody. Thank you so much everybody for coming. Let's see what time is it? Is it time to I'll give it a couple more minutes and then we'll go through all the the yucky stuff. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I can worry. It's the necessary things. Yeah. We go through. There was a festival here for the eclipse. Oh, that sounds like fun. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> 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 and the the most recent one I remember we were out we were out yard sailing when it was going something another kind of eclipse was going on and um, it was just it, and I forgot about it I forgot that it was even happening until it, it it got really weird it didn't get dark dark but it got kind of just mm -hmm. out it was so strange and then some guy was going around the neighborhood trying to sell these eclipse glasses for like five dollars then there was another lady at the yard sale that had the box with a little pinhole in it so you could see it. See, that doesn't, I don't know, that doesn't do anything for me. I'm not that fascinated by that. Yeah. Everybody has their own thing, you know. But um, whatever you do, don't look at it. Yeah, don't look at it with your bare eyes. Burn your eyes off. You, and you even got to be careful, make sure you get, have the right kind of glasses, they say, the eclipse, because there's some, you know, fake ones out there. So. Mm -hmm. Well, because we won't be able to see it here, I have not been thinking about it all that often. I'm just feeling yeah. But they're going to be, it'll Less be televised. We'll see it on TV. That's right, cool. true. That's good enough for me, I guess. <laughs> yeah. We saw something in the sky last night, and I don't know if it was, um, oh, what do you call it? The space, what's that space thing they're doing, they've been doing? Um, we can see it in the sky, and it's, this, if that was what it was, it's like the third time this week, I think. You know, the satellite thing, they're they're launching. Uh, Elon, oh. Elon Musk. Oh, okay. You know what I'm talking about? I it's haven't been paying attention to any of that. Somebody in the chat should know. Unfortunately. But, but it leaves, it, it's really weird in the sky. It leaves the, you know, the trail. And my oh. husband asked me, I was like, hey, you got to come see this, come see this. And I'm like, oh, yeah, okay. It was kind of cool. But I said, yeah, I think they've been showing that. Um, earlier in the week. It's like the third one he's launched. Anyways. Okay, so welcome everybody. I guess we'll go over the things. Um, all of us are back together again. With the Chatty Kitties. Yeah, here we are. So, um, yeah, Mother Nature is the boss, that's for sure. But anyway, so if this is your first time, which I think I recognize everybody in here, so it probably isn't, but in case somebody comes later, or if they watch this on the replay, um, if you have not made a purchase from us before, we ask that you email us your, your YouTube name, your real name if it is different, your PayPal email address, and your mailing address. That way we can get your invoice out to you. I ship from uh, Arizona. Leanne ships from Washington. Washington, and Sabrina ships from Ohio. Um, our emails are right there below us. It's also down below in the description. So after the sale is over, you can go in the description. And I have everything in the description. I have the rules. I have the our email addresses, the links to their channels, Leanne and Sabrina's channel. So if you're not subscribed to them, please go and subscribe. And um, I will put their links in the chats or I will have somebody do that. Um, I'm not the quickest... Yeah, person to put links, but I will do that. And then I also, um, okay, oh, oh, 
we'll just keep on with the invoices. I usually invoice within one week of my sale. Now I did, I am a little bit behind. So I know there's some, some of you that were in my sale with Trisha Saturday, and I have not invoiced some of you, but that will be uh, starting tomorrow. I will start those first. Um, and as far as open boxes go, I would like to limit open boxes to two weeks and Sabrina and Leanne can tell you what, how they feel about open boxes, but the open boxes have been getting a little bit out of control um, and it gets confusing for us. We have a hard time keeping track of all that. We have a lot going on in our lives, <laughs> plus with the different sales that we do and everything. And it gets all kind of mixed up and just confusing. And we don't know, you know, when is a good time for you to pay. So the best thing is for you to invoice us or not invoice us. Email. Email. Great. You can email us and let us know because we don't know or we can't remember. We just can't. So it's your responsibility to to email us and let us know like, hey, I don't get paid until such and such a date. Is that OK? Just let us know. Otherwise, we don't have a clue. <laughs> we don't have a clue. Right. So, and if you tell us, don't tell us in the chat, we want to hear, we want to email from you. The chats, that's going to go away, um, but we'll get the email. So please be responsible, buy responsibly, please. Um, we're here to have fun. You can hang out in the chat. You don't even have to buy anything. But if you do make a purchase, all we ask is that you do that responsibly for yourself and for us. Um, and just make sure you uh, give us your information and let us know you know, when is a good time? If you only get paid, you know, on the 15th, on the end of the month, just let us know. Um, and then what else? Um, is that it? Did I cover everything as far as that? Did I miss anything? Did you talk about pirate ship and PayPal? No. We uh, use PayPal for invoices. And I know PayPal now gives you other options. You don't have to actually pay through PayPal. There's sometimes there's other options on there like Venmo and I don't know what. Yeah, what you can is. also use a credit card. Um, yeah, you can use your bank account. Yeah, but it's all um, you'll get the invoice through PayPal, and then there's choices there of how you you pay. Uh, hi, Sandy. Hi, Sandy. Hi, Sandy. Um, and then we use Pirate Ship for shipping, and we give you the best rate possible. Hi, uh, hi, Helen. How are you? Hi, Helen. Hope you're feeling better. Hey, Helen. So yeah, we use Pirate Ship and we charge you what they charge us. We get a little bit of a discount and we pass that discount on to you. And we try to get you the best rate possible because shipping is not included. And uh, the price, it varies. It goes by the weight of the box, the size of the box, and where how far we have to ship it to you. Um, so that's that's for that part. Mm -hmm. um, Oh, and I, I already said that I invoice within usually within seven days. Sometimes it goes a little bit longer, but once I send your invoice and you pay the invoice and I do like you to pay within 48 hours, that's what I have down in my description below. But like I said, if you need more time, please email me and let me know. Um, and there's something else I just left my brain. What was I going to say? Oh, once you pay it, I, I ship it out either that day or the next business day. So. Yeah, I don't hold on to it. Once it's paid, it, it's out the door. Um, yes. And another thing I want to say is we have a dear friend in the community. Hi, Kathy. Uh, Kathy from the Kitschy Cat. And Kathy and I started this chatty. It used to be called the Chatty Kathys. It was uh, her and I started this. Now it's called the Chatty Kitties. Uh, she was no longer able to participate because she was having issues with her landlord and with her tenants, um, you know, it was too late at night and they didn't like, you know, she couldn't even talk. It was, it was awful. If she laughed, they could hear it upstairs. But anyways, now she, her and her mother have to leave their apartment and they only have like a week to leave. They're in really dire straits right now and they need our help. If you can help, you know, I know not everybody can. Um, I'm going to put a link to her GoFundMe in the chat. And um, if you want to just take a look, and I'll also put a link to her channel so you can go and um, she explains what's going on um, with her situation if you want to go and check that out. But um, it'd be nice if you guys, you know, it doesn't have to be a lot, $5, $10, whatever you can spare, if you can. I guess you don't have to, but it's nice if you would. Um, and then if you do decide to donate money, um, 
GoFundMe has a default of like 17% tip. Just put it down to zero. You don't have to leave that 17% tip. You don't have to leave no tip. They, they're already getting paid. So just put that little slider down to zero. Because I don't like when they do that. They automatically put something up there. And if you don't catch it, you're paying that. But um, just put it down to zero if you decide to do that. Um, so I think that's it. Do you guys have anything else you want to say or, or should we just get started? I don't know. Okay, I guess. I, know. I just want to say that um, everything that Kathy said about shipping speaks for me as well. Okay. I, I don't need to repeat it because Kathy said it all. Okay, thank you. <laughs> all righty. And let me um, get Sabrina. Remember how to do this? Gosh, it's only been what a week. Oh. <laughs> I'm still messing my brain very long. Hi, Penelope. <laughs> hey, Penelope. Hi, Penelope. Meow. How are you? Hi, Nick. Hi, Nick. All right. I'm going to start with some kind of primitive Raggedy Ann dolls. Um, these are going to be choice starting at $7. Oh, thank you so much, Helen. Make oh, sure thank you, know. Helen. Good. I was just going to look that up. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Now, these are around 10 inches. I think this one is a little bit shorter. So let me measure it. But they are more primitive than anything else. This one is nine and a half. They are super cute. This one has... A little button on the front. These are Raggedy Ann dolls. They're really cute. Um, yes, this one is Raggedy Ann. I do have an Andy here too. So this is your first option. About nine and a half inches. Here is the back. And these clothes do not come off. I don't believe so. No, they are all sewn on. And I believe they do appear to be older than they actually are, though I do not know their actual age. So that's choice number one. Choice number two is another Raggedy Ann. This one is larger. This one is 10 and a half inches. So about an inch taller. This has a little necklace with some twine and a wooden heart. This apron does come off. It is sewn on with some twine, but I, the dress does not come off. And she does have these pants on that do come off, but the dress does not. Just the pants and the apron come off. And they're all made of cloth. And then the third option, the hair is all yarn. And then the third option is Raggedy Ann. Now his pants do come off. Ooh, his pants come off, huh? They do, but his <laughs> shirt does not. And he is about 10. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I was just trying to do that, Helen, but thank you. I appreciate that. You're faster than I am. <laughs> I 10 and three quarters. Hi, Maritza. Hi, Maritza. Nice for you to join us. Hello. You're so cute. So seven each.
And their faces are super cute. They are um, drawn on faces. They are not sewn on. Yeah, those are adorable. Where's our Raggedy Ann people? <laughs> Here's the three all together. So you've got two Raggedy Ann, one Raggedy Andy. And they range from about nine and a half to ten and three quarters tall. And I don't see any interest. Well, thanks, Julie. So we're going to pass on the dolls. So anytime that we show something and no one claims it at that time, you can always claim it anytime during the sale or after the sale. Just put a comment below or just email that particular seller and we'll let you know if it's still available. Yep. All right. And for a $9 start, I do have a pair of white kitties. And you're getting them both for one money. Not sure of the maker on these. Oh, cute. They do have vintage bows and flower on them. And I love the lashes. Mm -hmm. And here's the second one. The same maker made these. There's no condition issues with either one, but I am going to measure them. One is a little taller than the other. The one is about four, just a hair over four and a half inches tall. And the second is just a hair over five and a half inches tall. I've got so much stuff around me, but this is what they look like together. One has her eyes closed. The other one has her eyes open. Cute. And I'm going to put them closer so that you can see them up close. I can't really see their faces from far away. My light is washing the, the white out. You get both of them starting at nine. Look at those lashes, so cute. I know. Sweet. There's no chips or cracks on either one. But we're going to pass on those. And I'm not sure who we're going to. We'll go to Leanne. Leanne. Yeah. All right. Well, I don't have kitties, but I have bunnies. And I know we have some rabbit fans out there. So this first one is going to start at $8. And it's wooden. And I don't know, Kathy, did we explain that we do going once, going twice, and sold? No, we didn't. So <laughs> just because it might be a little different, um, we yeah. will type in the chat going once, going twice, sold. If if you're if you're bidding actively and you decide to be out, we, we ask you to do that before we start counting down. If somebody comes in while we're counting down, as long as it's before the sold, um, we'll restart at that point if somebody new, somebody new comes in. So... Any questions, put it in the chat and our friends will help you. So we have this little wooden bunny and it is a trinket box and it is lined with a blue velvet. Not a lot of room in there, but I'd say you can put a necklace, earrings, something like that if you're giving it as a gift or hiding little um, chocolate eggs maybe inside. It's, uh, I think it's, 
it's kind of an unfinished wood, but it has enough. Um, it ha it's been around long enough that it has sort of a, I don't know, a patina, I guess, for lack of a better word. So it doesn't feel raw. It just natural. Natural. So it is this big. <laughs> I'll give you a quick measurement here. Six inches long and three inches tall. I don't know who made it. It's not marked. But it does appear to be solid wood. Um, not super heavy, not super light either. So I don't know what kind of wood it is. You can see the, the rings there. I know Easter's passed, but we have lots of bunny fans. You guys feel more than welcome to put in your links. If you have a channel, uh, put a, your links in the chats. Oh, I see Val is in at eight. Oh, I thank you, Val. So if anybody else is interested, you can put nine or more in the chat. Just um, dollar increments are good. But if there is no other interest, we're, I'm happy to move it along and we can count down for Val. All right. Yes. Hi, Angie. Yes. Go ahead and put your links in. I would do it, but I'm super slow and it takes me forever. So. <laughs> hey, Angie. Good I can always do it too, if you want. So I know Dandy, Helen, Sandy, Angie, Becky, they all have uh, channels. So I wasn't happy to, um, to do that. Yeah, Julie, all the friends here. All right, I have another rabbit. Thank you, Val. I'm gonna put that aside for you. Appreciate your bids, your bid. I have a rabbit here that is going to be $9 start. It's a little unusual in that it's red and it's ceramic. It's a nice glaze on it. Right. Really bright red. Yeah, it's a, it's a true red, I would say. I'm not sure how it's coming across on the on the camera. It's not orangey. It's it's definitely real red. It's really red to me. Very red. Yeah, like a cherry red. Yeah. And it looks like nine, uh, 84 maybe is the year on it. And I haven't been able to read the name. But I recognize this mold. I've seen, I have another bunny like it, a little figurine that is very similar to this. So um, that looks like it's commercially made. I don't know about this one. I, I don't really know. It is. Um, it was sold to me as a cotton ball, dis cotton ball dispenser. Oh, yeah. It does have that little hole in it where you you can put your cotton balls in there, and then you know it looks like a little bunny tail. It has this little mark right here. I just noticed. Haven't um, worked at it too hard, but it might be like a little scratch in the glaze. But I think it's very unusual. It does have a really cute profile, doesn't it? The little, um, you mm -hmm. know, haunches are really cute on it. Yeah, like I said, I have another one that's not, that doesn't have the hole. It's just a, a figurine, but it's shaped similarly. I just love it. It's just the cute. I feel like I have one like that that's blue. I'm trying to think where it is. Yeah, isn't it? different it's uh that it's different colors so i love that it holds the um cotton balls yeah Actually, mine mine is a um toothbrush holder that's right oh really oh Ooh. wow it's a blue one yep nice that is really cute oh becky's almost to 250. How much you need what she say a little nose 17 away so if everybody subscribes 
If we can get her to 250. That's awesome, Becky. Four inches by four inches. So four inches long, four inches tall. That's so cute. Put your cotton balls in there. You could just put cotton balls just so that it's showing a little poofy tail. Just use it as decor. Put it in Easter basket next year. It is a vibrant red. Very you can red. even put that in your um, 4th of July display. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Bunnies aren't just for Easter That's anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe it was a bathroom set. Yeah, yeah it could be. Mm -hmm. Well, I'll set this aside. I don't know what else to say about it. It doesn't have chips or cracks or crazing. Just has that little, what might be like a little scratch back here. I'm not quite yeah, sure. Cute. So let me know. I'll put them aside and we're going to go over to Kathy. Thank you so much, Kat. And Kat, don't forget to put yours in too. Okay, so let's go back yeah, to me. Yeah. All right. Okay, so my first item is going to start at, let's do $8. $8 start in this. I just picked this up yesterday at a yard sale, and it is a butter dish, and it's that tele, Talavera style. I'm not going to say it is Talavera because it's not marked, um, but the guy said he did get it in Mexico, but it's not signed or anything. So, you know, it could be anywhere from in Mexico, not necessarily Talavera, but it's, I love it. It's so pretty. It's got beautiful, vibrant colors. I love that uh, sunflower. Isn't that just pretty? It looks like on the top, all hand painted. So pretty. Nice little butter dish. Hi, Lynn. How you doing? I love the colors. They're pretty. Really pretty colors. Okay, this measures six by three and a quarter inches, the, the lid. The bottom, of course, is bigger. It is seven inches by four and a half inches. Hi, Lynn. So really nice. Oh, thank you, Becky. Yeah, if you guys can all go subscribe to each other, that'd be great. Oh, you have this, Dandy? Yeah, we live in the same, you know, within an hour of each other. So we probably see about the same same things. We're close to Mexico. But yeah, it's just beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. So you guys can think about that. Thank you, Sabrina. And I'll move on to my next item. Pass on that. And if you guys like, like Sabrina said, anytime um, during the sale, if you decide you want something, just let us know. Mexican delight. You can use that. Sir. Uh, yep. Oh yeah, you can put that for your put your guacamole in there. Absolutely. Why not? Oh, I didn't think of that. With a little lip on it. You sure can. Okay, so pass on that one. Uh, my next item is going to be $14. I love guacamole too. But I think I'm getting allergic to um, avocados. I don't know. The last time I had one, I was getting all, my tongue was getting all itchy. Oh, I hope that doesn't happen to me. Oh, oh, oh how sad. <laughs> I hope it was just a fluke. I don't know. It's like that's never happened before. And I love avocados. Love them. But ever since that, I, I haven't bought any because <laughs> I like to put them in my salad and everything. I just love it. So this is um, a mother and child. I thought this was perfect for um, the upcoming Mother's Day. A nice little Mother's Day gift. I don't know what this is made out of, but it's very um, heavy. It's kind of, it has some good weight to it. Um, I don't know if it's some type of a plastic. I really don't know. Or some kind of resin. It's really shiny. It's not wood. It's not stone. I don't think it's stone. I don't know. But it's really, um, really nice. Just a nice, nice piece. Nice little figure. Oh, I was going to get, did I bring it in? Yeah, paper, you can see it better. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? 
It's absolutely gorgeous. Let me get you a measurement on this. This well, the base is six and a half inches, and the height is about oh, about five and three quarter inches tall. Hi, Linda. They are green heaven. Yeah, they're really good for you. No, it wasn't. It was uh, the avocado itself. It was um, just an avocado. I always make my own uh, guacamole. And uh, yeah, it was just weird. It is weird. But you know, Sometimes bananas do that depending on the ripeness, but maybe, I don't know, it's weird. So maybe um, it has something to do too about the, I don't know. I'm just, I'll try it again, but <laughs> it's not like my throat swells up or anything, but yeah, I just don't like that. It made my throat itchy. What were you eating it with? Could have been chips. some other thing. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Chips. Your tortilla chips. Yeah, it's really weird. So yeah, this is just beautiful, and it's um, it's black. It's all black. I thought it was just a really pretty piece. But I don't see any interest, so we're gonna pass on this, and we'll go back to Sabrina. Thanks, Kathy. Um, I have choice between two glass swans, and they're going to be for, um, I'm sorry, $15 choice. They're very similar. Um, this one has its neck up, his head up. Hi, Bonnie. Hi, Bonnie. Very smooth base on it. And nope, I don't know the maker of these. There are several makers of these. So I don't want to say and then be wrong. There's no chips or cracks on either one of them. Almost 10 inches tall on this one. And then your second choice is this one. Again, very smooth base. This one has its head and neck down a little bit. So it's a, about eight inches. I think they're both beautiful. They go well together as two. And I'll show you what they look like together. They're about the same weight. But someone may prefer one over the other. So I didn't do them together. I'm doing them as choice. Hi, Mitch. Hi, Mitch. Hi, Mitch. <laughs> this one is in the body a little chunkier. The one with the neck down somewhat. Um, than the one with the neck up. And that's the only difference I see. Well, except for the tail. This one's not as pointy either. Oh, yeah, Chad. <laughs> but the light, you can see bunches of uh, color through them. Whatever color is around it, it picks that light up. Oh, yeah. And both of them do that. 
Not all clear glass does that. Right. I was going to say it's very clear, clear glass. If that makes yeah. sense. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And you can see that on the base as well right. on the bottom. Oh, yeah. Very pretty. And there are some slight scratching on the bottom, but not a whole lot. You can see some. But it's hard to find these with no chips or cracks on either the tail or the beaks. Oh, yeah. Look at the neck on it, how fragile that. I know. That is. But if anyone is interested in these, they're $15 each. Unless you were to take both. And then I do make deals if you do take both. All right. Well, we're going to pass on those. And then... I have a bottle. Um, you could somewhat call this a decanter. This is going to start at $22. It is a 19, it's actually, these come in different years. Uh, these are, you'll see these in the 70s or the 60s, but this particular okay. one is from 1960s and it's an Italian. Oh, that's neat. I like that. Chianti green grape bottle. I don't think I've ever seen that before. That's cool. And it does have the original label, which is a gory gory. Um, it does have on here that this one is, I believe, let me double check, but I believe this is eight ounces. I looked at this earlier, but I did not write it down. I believe this one is eight ounces. Reminds you of your neighbor's house parties. <laughs> <laughs> That's a cool bottle. I love bottles. Yeah, and, and it's hard to find them uh, with the lids on them as well after doing the research. Yes, it's eight ounces and it's 12% by volume. Does this but stand you know, up? It does not stand up, but it lays on its side. Okay. So it uh -oh. lays on its side like that. And the top does come off. Many of them, or most of them rather, do not have tops. So people have put corks in them and you can tell because of the threading that the corks are not original. Oh, okay. It does have the threading and it also has the plastic insert. Do they still make that? I don't believe so. I didn't find any new ones online. I've never seen that before. I only found the old ones. Oh, so if oh. they make the new ones, um, they weren't online. Yeah. I only found ones from the 60s and 70s. Okay, that's really neat. And the ones I found, it was hard to um, find any with the labels mm -hmm. and the lids. Hmm. And they had some on there that were $100 just because of the labels and the lids. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's a cool uh, display piece. Really nice. Yeah. Let me measure it for you. They come in all different colors as well. This one is um, a little over seven and a half inches. And it is three and a half inches wide. And it does have, mm, I see two, three, four seams. Okay. 
But if we have no interest, we'll pass on this and go back to Leanne. All right. All right, thank you. Uh, I have a $8 start, $8. It is a Scentsy wax warmer that you plug in. Now, I don't know about vintage, but I'd say it's at least 15 years old. I know because I had a Scentsy party and my mom bought this and she had it in her home. So I have it now and I'm going to offer it here. It has a, a blue ceramic wax warmer on the top. Now it does have some wax in it. You can plug that in, melt it off, pour it out if you like. But I do also want to include some wax melts that I have for you, and I'll show you those in a minute. There's no chips or cracks on it. It works perfectly, even though it's used. It is marked Scentsy right here, and it has an on-off switch. It has a working bulb inside. I was using it myself for a little bit. And there's the plug. I know that new, it's, um, they were more than $8 new. Oh, yeah. They're expensive. Yeah. This is one that you plug into your wall. Looks great in the bathroom. That's where I had mine for a little bit. Has this wave pattern here. I'm not sure exactly of the name of the pattern, but it, when I looked it up, um, blue and wave were some of the keywords. So... There's that, it is about this big. I think all the plug-in ones are about the same size, five inches tall. Sticks out from the wall, probably about three and a half inches. And so I do have that um, Scentsy wax in there. It is sweet pea and vanilla, sweet pea and vanilla. And I have about a half of a container left that I can send with it if you like as well as about a half a container of apple melon wax melts. Oh, thanks, Midge. I see your offer at eight. I appreciate it. So um, I don't know if I already said, but no chips or cracks on this one. Working bulb on the inside. And hopefully it'll still work when it gets to you, the bulb that is um, being jostled around in the mail, but should work. And I do believe this twists off to um, replace the bulb, yeah. So that's pretty easy even for me to, to twist it on. So you get that, you get two packs that are half full of unused wax. Oh, I like grapes, um, a grape theme for the kitchen, GK. Thank you, Vanessa. I see you at 10. Appreciate it. Nice to see you, by the way. I don't know if I said hello already. Thanks, Midge. I see you're a bit at 11. There's the switch right there, turns it on and off. So you can just leave it plugged in. Thank you, Vanessa. All right, we can count down for Miss Midge at 11. All right, set that aside for you, Midge. Thanks so much. Thank you, Vanessa. And let's do this. I have a piece of blue Danube or blue onion, as it's often referred to, um, China. I'm going to start this one at 12. It is a gravy boat. Now, I don't know what kind of demand we have here for a gravy boat right now, but a lot of people love this pattern, including myself. Um, it's a mid-century pattern. And this is 
a gravy boat in awesome shape. It does have a minor flaw and I will show you what that looks like in a minute. It's a $12 start for this Blue Danube Gravy Boat. So there's no chips or cracks or crazing of any kind on the top. I did see one little spot right here that I couldn't quite wash off. I haven't tried anything like with bleach or anything like that, but it's just a tiny spot there. So I don't know what what's going on there exactly, but when I washed it, I couldn't quite get that off. Everything else looks great on the top. Nice finish and feel. On the bottom, there is a old chip right here. You can tell it's older because it's a little discolored, but it's underneath. So you can barely see it from that direction. You can't see it from the top. So even with that, um, and that's why I started it at 12 rather than higher because um, a lot of them I see online are, are going higher. Blue Danube is what it says right there. It is three and three eighths inches long and three inches high. It is an attached gravy boat attached to the plate below and that is how it, how it came from the factory. It's lovely for display, even if you don't use it as a gravy boat, if you love this blue and white pattern. I'm chatting away and I'm muted. Sorry about that. Oh, no. What is this? My little viewing screen is very small, so I probably didn't see your lips moving. <laughs> I hope you guys can read lips. Yeah. <laughs> I've well, tell, us again. tell us again what <laughs> it was. No, I just said it is beautiful and I love blue and white. <laughs> yeah. I love the shape of you know beautiful. the edge here. Yeah, it's gorgeous. The shape here, the ins and outs. These are nice. Oh, Midge is in at 12. Oh, Midge likes it. Awesome. It just does have that that little chip there. I couldn't find any other other issues with it. So you could put a succulent in it. I love that idea. Yes, that's a great idea. Yeah, It'd be really pretty in there. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's like this big, so it's good size. Nice and shiny, really good quality feel. You know, it has that um, that feel to it, that mid-century China, nice quality. All right, well, let's count down for Midge. I don't see any other offers in the chat. Thank you so much, Midge. And thank you, everybody, for taking a look. Hey, congratulations, Midge. Thanks, Midge. All right, that's my two. Okay. Thank you. Okay, so my next item, I'm gonna start this off at $20, so $20 start. And this is a, uh, chopstick. Okay, my mind is going blank for some reason. Uh, so starting at 20, oh, thank you, Sabrina. You see it? Hi, uh, Marianne, how you doing? Hi, Marianne. Uh, this is a chopstick set. So it's a four piece set. So you get these little, let me take it out here, little chopstick holders. It's all wood. I don't know what kind of wood it is, but it's beautiful, all different inlaid woods in there. Just gorgeous. So you get four of those. You get four sets of the actual chopsticks. And it has a little um, inlaid detail on the top. Is very well done. I don't know if these are made out of teak wood. I'm really not sure, but they're, it's just a really good quality wood. So you get um, four of those. 
And then you get these little, oops, I can't get this out. I guess this must be for sauce. I don't know anything about this kind of thing, um, but this must be for sauces, right? Would you think? Would you have your sauce? Probably. In? Yeah, soy sauce, wasabi. Yeah. And it's again, beautiful. Isn't it beautiful. Look yeah, at the wood. Like yeah. The wood is just gorgeous. Mm -hmm. And it comes in this cute, adorable little box. So let me see if I can get this. I don't think I put I get this box. I don't think I tried. I bought when I bought it, it was like this, so I didn't um it was taped up and put in a bag. <laughs> so let me see if I can. Oh yeah, wasabi. So it's a nice little box. This is the cover. So it makes a nice little set, nice little gift set for somebody. If you know somebody who really likes that, who's into sushi and all those different kinds. It's kind of a strange um, pattern, but it's it's kind of cool, the box. It's a gift box. Try to open this again. <laughs> yeah, it's a nice hostess gift, isn't it? It's just beautiful. Let's see if I can show you. Look at how pretty that is. It's a very, very nice set. So if you guys have any questions about it, if you need any measurements, I think it's pretty standard. You put your little chopsticks on there. At first, I want, the first set I bought like this, I didn't have a clue what these were. Somebody had to tell me, but I imagine you would just set them, you know, on the table. Yeah. But very, very nice set. But I don't see any interest in this, so we will move on. But it, it's absolutely beautiful. Beautiful set. Really nice wood. I don't know what else to say about it, but it's pretty cool. So we'll move on on this one, and we'll show this on the recap. Uh, we do a recap at the end of the, once we show all our items, and the items that didn't sell, we will have a recap at the end if you guys want us to, because sometimes people come in late and they'd like to see what they missed. Okay, so that's um, that. And then I have a little lot, I don't know if I had to write this down. Um, I have a lot of Asian figures. And it's a lot of one, two, three, four, five. And this is going to be, I'm going to do $10 start on these. Um, most of these are vintage. And I don't know who made them, but they're, and they're different. So, whoops. So this is going to start at 10. Let me get this off of here. So here's the first little guy. It's no market on the bottom, so I don't know who makes them, but it's a lot, and you're going to get all, all of these. He is four and a quarter inches tall, that little guy. And then there's a little, I think this one was a might have been a salt shaker, but he is missing um, his cork, and he's missing his partner. But it's just a cute little figurine, and this one was made in Japan. Say Japan, yeah, Japan. Cute little guy, and he measures two and three quarter inches tall for him. And then these two figures, I think these are chalkware, and they do have some issues, but they're really cool. They look pretty old. So there's this guy. And it, it, see, it feels like chalk. Feels like chalkware. So, and there are little, um, little paint loss, you know, here and there, little chippies. But it is paint loss. And there's also one on his nose, a little chip. But they're so cool. But I like when they show their age. I like this look. So that's that guy, and he is. About four and a half inches tall. And he's got a partner. And she is lovely. She has little chippies too. It's mostly um, 
Mostly paint. I mean, yeah, mostly paint chips. But look at how cute she is. So they go together. And then the last one, he's kind of an oddball, but I thought I'd throw him in. <laughs> Hi, Nellie. Hi, Melly. How are you? So this guy is, um, I'm not sure what he's made out of. Um, I think the head is porcelain. The head is porcelain. I'm not sure about the, about the rest. So you get this whole set of little vintage figurines, all Asian figurines, which I think are really just cute. See if I could do this without dropping them. It's just a nice little, nice little collection. That's like two bucks a piece. So little nice little figurines. Little salt shaker or figurine. Little couple. Aren't they cute? I thought they were adorable. They are cute. I'm trying to clear out my she shed. <laughs> I was going to try to say, okay, what can I? This I really like this little guy. It looks like your Kokeshi shelf. <laughs> <laughs> Oops, oh, this little guy. So yeah, just all these little cuties. I don't see any interest, so I think we're going to go back to Sabrina. You guys can think about it, and I'll show them again. Yep, they're little cuties. Okay, let's go back to Sabrina. I have a Hazel Atlas Colonial Blue dish. This is going to start at 12. It has no chips or cracks. I love the shape of it. I love the lines. It's in perfect condition. You look at the lines right here. It's got this square bottom or rectangle bottom here. And then the oval. I just love the lines on this and this, the shape. And it's a beautiful blue. Hi, Christy. Hello, Christy. Hi, Christy. And you could use this for food, which was its intended purpose when it was made. Or you could use it for jewelry. You could um, put a frozen charlotte, lay a frozen charlotte on each end. You could use this for anything. Put some faux succulents in it. But it's a gorgeous colonial blue. Let me measure it for you. It is nine and a half by four and a quarter. And it stands just a hair over an inch and a half tall. I wish I had something to put behind it other than white because it is a little darker than what it's actually showing up as. It 
There's no markings on it, but it is Hazel Atlas. I had a piece similar to this, um, but it was a little smaller, more oval. Uh, about two thirds of the size that sold not too long ago. So this is the last piece of this that I have left. But it would look great with some pearls or put your rings or a couple of brooches in this. Or you can just put some snacks in it. Snacks are always good. That's right. <laughs> All right. Well, I don't see any interest in this. So we're going to move over to my next piece. And let's see. My next piece is a $10 start. Yeah, I vote snacks too. I'm, I'm a little hungry, Apple. <laughs> And my next piece is a $10 start for a fragrance bar outlet warmer that it does come in the original box, but it has had wax in it, which is very simple to clean out. But this is a Halloween fall, which you can use it at any time of the year. It does not have to be just at Halloween. No Helen would use it all year round. <laughs> what was that? I said Helen would use it all year round. Yeah. It's a stall. Well, you certainly can. That's right. All right. But it does come with the original box. Um, I will also send it with the orange light. But if you want it with a clear light, just let me know. And I can swap it out or just send you with an additional clear light. I think I own stock in the clear bulbs. <laughs> um, I will also, whenever I sell these, I also send more wax melts. But this is how it goes together. It currently has orange. I can send you the rest of the orange but you'll also get some spring or summer. Well, you have apple for 10. Thanks, apple. And the light obviously comes through the eyes. That's cool. No condition issues. I will measure it. Um, the entire thing is almost five and a half inches tall, and it comes from um, from the wall. It is about almost three and a half inches from the wall. Very cool. Yeah, this one is super cool, but I didn't want to wait until Halloween to sell it. Yeah. And. Yeah, probably. Reptiles. <laughs> Birds or reptiles, you can't have oh. candles or wax melts around. I don't know. That makes sense. We can count this down for Apple. Okay. We'll put it back in the box for you, Apple. Congratulations, Apple. Thank gift alert. <laughs> oh, gift alert. Aww. Is it Helen's birthday? Nice. It's Helen's birthday. So sweet of you. 
that's very sweet. Yeah, that is super sweet. I sure will. Thank you so much, Apple. Oh, 420, yeah. Oh, okay. Was that your second or your first? That was my second. That was your second. Oh, okay. I did the Hazel Atlas Bowl for the first time. Oh, that's one. right. Right. The doll canoe was what I kept thinking of it. As. <laughs> like, put a doll in this end and put a doll in this end. Yeah. A doll canoe. Anywho, let's see. What should we do next? Let's do some Pooh Bears. I have Pooh Bears Choice starting at $8. We all love Pooh Bears. Oh, yes. They're plush Pooh Bears. Unfortunately, this one got forgotten for Easter. So offering it today, you can put it away for Easter or just enjoy it year round. Oh, yeah. It is so, so soft. Oh, I guess it, it's cute. It does say Disney Store 2021, just so you know, that's on there. But when you're displaying it, you're not looking at that. It's You're just looking at the cute. Super duper soft. Just incredibly soft. Cute little bow, very clean. Wop wop. <laughs> so really cute. Let's see, how tall was this one? About 12 inches. The ears flip down, so 12 inches with the floppy ears. Here's the tag. Made in Vietnam. So I don't know how old it well, we know how old it is. It's 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 labeled, but there you go, Pooh Bear. Very, very soft. And here's the other one. <clears throat> it's just a plain Pooh Bear with a tag that says Poo. And I don't know what year this one is. I'm guessing it's fairly modern. <clears throat> Little red shirt. Also that plush feel. I treasure scavenger the tag <laughs> really soft nice and clean no damage on either one and this one sitting is about 10 inches cutest little fuzzy ears that's two and up <clears throat> for that one those are your poo choices for tonight. Super cute. <clears throat> now the first one, his he is plush, right? The the face. Uh -huh. Oh yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. So cute. Hi Angela. Hey Come Angela. Hi Angela. How's your weekend? Mm -hmm. They're both really soft. It's just a different kind of material on each one They're both super soft especially this this part i just don't know stuffed animals when i was a kid they were soft but i don't remember it this velvety soft yeah. you know they've kind of improved the the fabric and plush these days so yeah all right well we won't spend too much time i don't know if we have stuffed animal shoppers out there right now, especially for the Easter one. But just wanted to bring those today. I have a lot of, you know, like heavy things. So I wanted to bring a few light things <laughs> to the show. Um, let's do this. Speaking of larger. Oh, Bonnie's in three. Oops. Oh, Bonnie, I'm so sorry. Oh, I didn't see you. you either. I'm so sorry, hon. Oh, how did we miss that? I don't know. I didn't see it either. I was sleeping at the wheel. Well, let's count down for Bonnie. She can let us know. Okay. She's looked in. I do have an open box uh, for you, Bonnie, so I can combine and invoice you this week. That would be great. Oops. Okay. Well, let me know, Bonnie. Well, well, that's supposed to say sold. We we know what it means. Hope <laughs> you forgive me, Bonnie, for not seeing your bid. Yeah. You can let her know which one or ones you'd like. Okay, that sounds good, Bonnie. Thanks for letting me know. I'll put this one aside for you, for your granddaughter. And the Thank you. Easter one. 
All right, let me write that down real quick. Bonnie. Bunny poo. It's a bunny poo. Okay. Next, I have this beautiful hand turned, it looks like, pottery bowl. And this is born. Perfect. Oh, that's awesome. That's perfect. Uh, this one's going to start at 15. Now, it will cost a little bit to ship because it is weighty. Ooh, that's but nice. But it's really beautiful. It is beautiful. I, I haven't seen any damage on it. No chips or cracks or crazing. It is like pottery or stoneware, I guess, pottery. And unfortunately, it's not signed. But whoever made it did a beautiful job. And I would say it's like a large salad bowl, pasta bowl, something like that. You can see just how big it is. It has browns and yellows. I'm just asking 15 because it is weighty. You're going to pay a little bit for shipping. And it's not signed. This beautiful glaze, that speckled look. Yeah, isn't it, Kat? Thank you. I'm going to measure the diameter here. 11 inches in diameter, about five inches tall. Oh, potato salad bowl. Yes. Oh, potato salad sounds good right now. <laughs> yeah. Popcorn bowl, sure. Yep. <laughs> a little, little bit of a drip glaze thing going on. I like the color choices, how it goes from light to dark. <laughs> yeah, boho steak and peace. I love pottery. Yeah. I have a lot for my son when he was baking it. Macintosh apples in there. Oh no, I never have. I put apples I in mean my, it that way. I put it in my coleslaw, but not in my apples or not in my potato salad. You know what's really good in potato salad is um, oh Mike is in is Thanks, uh, blue, blue cheese is Ooh. really good. in the potato salad. Mm -hmm. There was a restaurant Ooh, here. I've never tried that. There was a restaurant here that used to put that in there. And, oh, my God, it was so good. Mm -hmm. yeah, I never heard of apples and potato salad. That sounds interesting. Yeah. I like it in coleslaw, but I just don't know about potato salad. But then again, you put cheese in your hot chocolate, so. <laughs> <laughs> this is just an indent in the clay. It's not a chip. Just wanted to let you know about that. <laughs> right here, just a little indent in the clay. I put apples in like chicken salad or, or tuna salad, yeah. that kind of thing. Well, I haven't tried it in tuna. I've tried it in chicken salad, I have. Mm -hmm. Not tuna. Grapes, too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Walnuts. I like, you know, a little variety things. All right. Well, let's count down for Mike. If anyone else is interested, you need to come on in before we hit sold. Yeah, it does. Yeah, the blue cheese is so good in there. Oh, my gosh. It smells very rich. Yeah. So, so congratulations, Mike. Hi, Spike. Congratulations, Mike. I'll pack that up nicely for you. Right, oh, bacon. Now, bacon sounds good in potato salad. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That tastes really good. So, all right. My next okay. item. What's that? Okay. Oh, Hi, Kay. How are you doing? Hi, Kay. Okay, so this is going to start at, oh, where is it? I'm going to start this off at 20. I know it sounds high, but I think it's worth $20 for this guy. Um, it's a carved elephant, but there's a lot of detail in this guy. This is uh, the size. I'll, I'll I tried to highlight for you, K. 
Kathy, but it wouldn't let me. <laughs> <laughs> but look at this elephant, how he's carved. I just think he's it's just amazing. A lot of detail. There's no mark. There was no tag, so I don't know where it was made. And the tusks, I don't know what the tusks are made of. I didn't check to see if they glow. I should have done that. Well, they do glow. They do kind of glow. Well, I don't know if they really glow. I don't know. If they, I don't think they really glow. I don't know. It's hard. To, it's hard to tell. But um, I thought he was just amazing. Trunk up. And let's get a measurement on this guy. He is from the tusks to the tail. He's about six and a half inches and about five and a half inches tall. Oh, Sabrina. <laughs> That is a nice one, for sure. Yeah, it's a beautiful, beautiful one. I thought it was just mm -hmm. gorgeous. And I just loved how the, the carving was carved. Well, we can go ahead and count it down. Would you mind? Um, yeah, I'll do that. For Sabrina. Lynn, my husband would do the same thing. Oh, really, sauerkraut? He loves I really, sauerkraut. I really like homemade sauerkraut. It's been a while since I've had some. There you go. Sold it's to Sabrina. Oh, thank you, Sabrina. Thank it's you. Real. It's very good for you. I know that. It's really good for your gut. So. Oh, is it? Mm -hmm. Oh, I didn't know that, but he loves it. Yeah, it's supposed to be really good. Okay, so that goes to Sabrina. And then my next item is going to be choice. They're two identical, but I'm doing it as choice. Um, they are tiki mugs, and then they're going to start at $18 choice. Uh, these are vintage, and they're made by um, Orchids of Hawaii um, and made in Japan. Well, here, let me show you the, them first. So there's two just like this. They go for quite a bit online. They're really cool. There's no chips or cracks. Let me see if you could read the bottom. Um, it says R82 Japan. And then around, it's hard to see, but it does say um, Orchids of Hawaii. Let's see if we can focus. So really, really nice. And I have two. So it is choice. They're both identical. They're really cool. I know there's a lot of people that like to collect tiki mugs. Are they neat? They are super cool. That they're cool. <laughs> oh, you have this one, Penelope? Yeah, aren't they neat? They're really good condition. Amaze balls. <laughs> yeah, they're cool. Yeah, very food. That's what I kept saying what to myself. Very food Manchu. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, that was funny. Okay, so it, it they are like seven and a quarter inches tall. The diameter is about almost three inches, maybe like two and three quarter inches. Yeah, they, aren't they cool? So cool. So nice if you uh, collect these. They're really nice. Nice collection to have. Collect all different kinds. So I don't know if anybody would want two of the same, but I thought maybe, you know, if they collect these, they might want to add one, you know, have one to add to their variety of, you know, what they collect. So, and I had another 
I should have brought it out. I have another tiki mug that's different. Maybe I'll bring it in the next one. So, but I thought these were really cool. I was going to list these and I just never got around to it. But they're pretty cool. So, if you guys, that's really neat. I don't see any interest on these, so I'm going to pass. <laughs> Yes, I did his brows. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And his eyeliner. I like love that. that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I love that. Cool. Okay, we'll go ahead and pass on that. You guys can think about it. And if you change your mind, decide you have to have it, just let me know. Okay, and then let's go back to Sabrina. <clears throat> I have this wood crate and it's going to start at 12. It has a cup of coffee and says coffee on both sides. And then on opposite ends, it has rope for handles so that you can carry it this way. But this would be great for your coffee bar. On the inside, you know, I didn't check to see if this held mugs. I think it's too small. Of sec you know, the sections are too small to hold mugs. But it does hold, um, you know, pop bottles. Well, not that one. That one's too big. It does hold regular size pop bottles or um, the glass bottles. They are even smaller. So it does hold those. Um, it does... Hold um, like office supplies. That's what I originally got it for because I was going to sit it on the desk and and hold post its and pens and the the um, pencil sharpener or the not the pencil sharpener the um, stapler and stuff like that. But I think it would be great by the to hold um, by the coffee bar to hold pods or your stirs and. Yeah. filters and stuff like that yeah i don't know its age so it could be very modern it could be the only thing that it shows on the bottom are and i think it's staples are these staples and i believe that that is staples and not little finish nails And that's the same thing on the, it might be little finish nails. You know, now that I'm looking at the sides, I think it's little finish nails. And not staples. It looks like little tiny nails. Yeah, it's not staples. It's little tiny nails. But let me measure it for you. And... First of all, let me measure the little holes, the little sections. Three and a quarter by, and I'm measuring the inside by two and a half. The entire thing is 11 and three quarters. That's our job, Apple. <laughs> So we're killing her. Y'all killing me. <laughs> I just think that it was really cool and you could do so many things with it. Oh, Lynn said her kitchen is all coffee themed. Well, you know, you could also put this on the counter and hold your um, silverware. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, there's properties. there's a number of things you could use it in just about any room. Right. I mean, you could you could use it for makeup. You could use it for silverware. You could use it for so many different things. My husband found out that I wasn't going to use it for what I wanted to use it, so he wanted to use it in the shop, and I was like, no, <laughs> you'll just dirty it up. <laughs> so yeah, just think about right that. Here. Oh, you could use it for all kinds of things. Paintbrushes, um, crafting. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. For gardening. 
Looks like Lynn wants to see her kids. And stuff in it for gardening yeah. and your little garden tools. There's just so many Lynn different Hartman. things. Yeah, you could do that, Melly. There's so many different things you could use that for. Well, we can count down for Lynn. She's in at 12. Oh, I didn't see you, Lynn. I'm so sorry. She's the one with the coffee themed kitchen. Yeah. Going well, thank once. You, Lynn. Going twice. And sold to Lynn. There we go. Congrats. All right. My next, that was my first. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Exactly. My first item, or my second item, rather, is going to be a set of porcelain Raggedy Ann dolls. Raggedy Ann and Andy dolls. Um, this is Andy, and these are going to start at $22 for the pair. And the only condition issue is Raggedy Ann is missing a shoe. This is Raggedy Andy. Oh, yeah. He's fluffed up, but they are porcelain. He is dressed like a sailor. He's got his wooden sailboat. And I'm not sure if he... I have not had him unclothed. So I'm not sure if he has a heart or not. She, on the other hand, does. I don't think he does. But it, his clothes do come off. I need to retie his shoes. But he has black shoes. He does have all of his clothes. He has his red and white striped socks. His clothing is Velcro. It's attached and on with white Velcro. And... He's very good Velcro. His he is porcelain, but his body is um, like a white cloth. Mike's in at twenty two. Thank you, Mike. And he has no condition issues with his porcelain. His um, feet, legs, hands, arms, and face. And of course, his head are all porcelain. And let me show you Raggedy Ann. She just needs her hair fluffed as well. And she is carrying this little bear. Now, the bear... It looks like, I'm sure it came like this, but it looks like the bear is kind of handmade right there and here. But when I looked online, they were all like that. I don't know if they made them to, to look homemade and not, you know, manufactured, but they were all like that. But they have the cutest faces. Yeah, they do. Now, she has all of her clothing and everything on as well with the same socks. Um, or the same stockings, rather. But she is missing her left shoe. And let me show you. Or layers. Oh no, Penelope. <laughs> There's no stains, tears, anything with either one of them. Let me remove my hair. 
And you yeah. get Sabrina's DNA with it. <laughs> I just removed it. <laughs> That's why I like Cinderella. Cinderella, she's missing her glass slipper. Yep. Oh, she's got a cute little teddy bear. And let me give you an idea of how big they are. And then we will count it down for Mike. It is cute, Mike. Yeah, they're adorable. Um, can't completely flatten her out, but as she sits in this position, 17 inches. Dog ate it. <laughs> and we can count it down for Mike. Yeah, Thank are you so much, Mike. Congratulations. Congrats, Mike. Like Thank you cute. so much. That was your second? And that was my second. I thought they resembled Seymour Man dolls too. Not, I'm certainly not saying they are, but yeah. Seymour Man, I'm not sure what those are. Yeah. It's a maker of dolls. Oh, okay. You know, I looked them up the last time I showed them. Mm -hmm. I did not look them up today, but I don't remember. Well, they look really nice. So that's all. <laughs> They're really cute. Yeah. <laughs> that's all that matters. All right. This is going to be a $20 start. You'll probably think I'm crazy when you see it, but, um, well, we'll just see. We'll see if anyone's interested. So we have here what was sold to me as an etching. I have no way of figuring out if it's actually an etching. So I'm just going to tell you that to start with. It is a um, Jane Mason Burke signed and numbered little picture. The number is eight out of 40, I believe. And it has little bears and bunnies. Very, very sweet. It is sort of a neutral in tone, neutral colors. It's double matted. It has um, a little bit of a, like a burgundy red stripe around one of the mats. The outer mat is like a gray. The inner one is like a cream color. And then again, that burgundy red. Jane Mason Burke. There is information about her on the back of the picture. There is glass here. And it is a brushed and polished metal frame in like a gold tone. Professionally framed. It does have a couple scratches in the glass right here that you can feel with your fingernail. So that is there. You could replace the glass or you could live with it the way it is. It's really hard to see when you are looking at it um, from back here. Let me show you the back. So it is professionally framed. You can tell by the, the joints there. Jane Mason Burke is a California native artist. If you look her up and look up pieces sold by her, they can they can really go up. Um, they she studied fine art at San Francisco or sorry University of California um, College of the Arts in Santa Barbara and. California College of Arts and Crafts in Oakland. And there is a, it would be sweet for a baby's room. There's an original price tag here, or receipt. This, this is titled Family Portrait. It was originally 80, purchased for $84 in 1981. Oh, wow. Purchased, yeah, it was purchased at the frame shop for, night, for that. And it's called Family Portrait. Is it, does it say that? Yeah, Family Portrait. Is it what it says on the bottom? So you get the beautiful, what was called etching. She does have lithographs online too. Um, but this does sort of look like an etched piece when you look at, I don't know if you can tell on the screen, just the way the little lines are. Really cute. 
you know, for somebody who collects dolls or teddy bears or rabbits, this might be a nice addition to your collection. I'll give you a measurement here real quick. Let's have the, the professional hanging wire there. And let's see how big it is. It's 11 by 13, 11 by 13. And the piece itself is like eight by six. That's what you can see here. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. These little grandbaby. Or Sue for the little twins. Oh, right, right. Yes, really precious. That is sweet. Again, double matted, has a couple little scratches in the glass right here. Little scratches. Really nice brushed metal frame around there. So think about that. I'll set it down. My arm's getting tired. And what do we have next? Oh, I have these nesting boxes. I'm going to start at $12. There are three in total. They're really cute. $12 start for the set of three little boxes. They are shaped like hearts. They are called Hats and Roses. They are made by Bob's Boxes. Now look those up online. They have all different designs and they're all pretty nice and going for some good money out there. Looks like 20, 2001 is the copyright on this one. It has a nice texture, like a linen type texture on the outside. And they are nesting boxes. So you have the outer one here, and then you have the inside. You can stack these. You can um, store things inside. I thought they had a nice vintage look, you know, for those that, that like to decorate with china and lace doilies, things like that. It is a known brand called Bob's Boxes. Hats and Roses is the name of this design. And then there's a third box inside. And all in great shape. I don't see any dents, cracks, rips, anything like that. They are that um, sort of a cardboard type material, nice and clean on the inside. This one is about this big. They have all different kinds of sets. I didn't actually see this particular pattern when I looked it up online. Um, all different shapes and different um, patterns. Those are nice. They stack nicely too. I have so many boxes. Not I have the round ones of that, like the half boxes. But they're great for crafts, for storing your crafts. I have some that has ephemera in it. Um, they're just really nice, nice little storage boxes. They stack really nice. Back in the day when I got married in the mid '90s, one of my um, little gifts for my my people was a little decoupage box that had um, some goodies inside, like jewelry and things like that. So this reminds me of that because a lot of them were heart shaped. That I, yeah, that I was actually filled up with popcorns, nuts, and gift and gift. That. That's a good idea. Yeah, we'll put it on sure. a little plastic bag to protect the box. Yeah. Oh, Christy's in at 12. Oh, yeah. Christy likes this kind of thing. Yeah, that was really nice. Nice gift idea. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was surprised. I had never heard of Bob's Boxes, but when I looked up online, I mean, it's a, it's a thing. Huh. Bob's Boxes. I think they maybe they were sold in like high-end gift stores or something like that. No, no place that I'd been. <laughs> back in the day. So again, all three, they nest together like that. All right. 
Well, let's count things. down for Christy. Is anybody else interested? You just need to come into the chat at 13 or more. Otherwise, Christy's going to get them. Oh, those are very nice. I they, They're kind of my style. I like them a lot. Well, Ross used to sell those, the, the round ones, and I just went nuts with them. And I actually, I, I, mean, there's, I have them stacked so high. I have yeah. probably, two, probably two stacks of them. And they, I put all my yarn in there, different, you know, colored yarns. Oh, and yeah. Yarn. Yeah. They're really nice. Have you seen yeah. that particular brand before, Bob's Boxes? No. Uh -uh. yeah. Although I never, I don't know if I've ever looked at the bottom of them. I was just curious. I I've seen them, but I've never seen them, all three of them together. I have to, I've never seen the nesting ones. You know, I actually, I had bought one one time, but I don't know what they were, but I sold them. And I think they were heart shaped, but I don't know if they were Bob's because I don't remember looking. Is yeah, that your first I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep an eye out for Bob's. No, that was my second. I see Poppy with like the family portrait. You mean this one, the, it's called the family portrait? Oh. Yeah. Thank oh, you, awesome. Poppy. Great, Poppy. Thanks. Congratulations. And correct, yeah. Congratulations, Christy. Congratulations to both of you. Thanks, Great Christy. deal. Good deals. Mm -hmm. Okay, my next item, I'm going to start at, where are you, $14. $14. And this is a necklace uh, that I just bought yesterday. I'm showing things that I just bought at the yard sale. And this one is, uh, it has tiger eye, and but I don't know what the other, I think it's shell. Tiger eye and shell, I I believe. It's just beautiful. It's uh, three strands. I'll try to get close so you can see. These, I believe, are some type of a shell. Let's see if I can focus. Me and jewelry don't do well for some reason. <laughs> I don't know why I can't have a hard time shut. Maybe I need white instead of the black. Let's see. Hold on a second. You get a chance, Kathy. Oh, highlight it. Yeah. Okay. Let's see if this works better, maybe. Uh, not much better. Why isn't that showing up? I don't know how people show jewelry. But I believe, like, the bottom strand, the long strand, I believe those are shells, shell, that are possibly colored. I'm not positive. Let's see if we can do it like this, maybe. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful, beautiful necklace. Yes, this was in my haul video. There's there's beads. And then on the second and the first strand, there are tiger eye. Little round beads. Midge is in for 14. Oh, thank you, Midge. And these are like, I've never seen faceted um, tiger's eye. See how they're faceted? Oh my gosh, I'm gonna take it off of this. Love camera. That. My arm is gonna fall off. <laughs> Model it for us, Kathy. Well, I don't, my shirt is too busy, I think. Oh no. Oh, oh and it has a magnet closure. Let's see if I can. Oh, that's handy. Yeah, so it is magnet. Let's see if we highlight midge. That makes it easy yeah, to put on. With this, it's, um, oh, it's gorgeous. It's really pretty. It you is. A more solid shirt. Yeah. And I love that it has a cross on it. Yeah. That's nice. There's a cross right here. Don't get mixed up with the one I already have on. <laughs> I'm going through my stash and I found this one today. I forgot. Mm, it. Yeah, I think it's, it's pretty. pretty. I think it's sterling, but it need, it's all tarnished. It needs to be, uh, you know. Untar untarnished. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> there's tar tiger eye on there. A lot of a lot of tiger eye. Yeah, Oops. really nicely done. <laughs> like I said, I don't show jewelry very well. Sorry, guys. This is what the closure looks like. The closure is really pretty. Let's see if we can focus. Focus, focus. It is an art to sell jewelry. <laughs> yeah. There we go. So look how pretty that is. And it's magnet. See? These two pieces go together. I'll get you a measurement in just a second if I can get myself together here. 
Okay. Yeah, so these pieces just go, whoops, right there together. So pretty. So let me get you a measurement. It has three different measurements. Um, what are the longest? Oops, one of the longer measurement. Measure. Good night, Jan. Sleep well. Good night, Jan. Good night, Thank you so much for coming. If any of you ladies across Vanny Trey like, please have it. Sounds like fun. Okay. Then. I might have a vanity tray, actually. Uh, I, have, I have a vanity tray in the sale tonight. Oh, do you do? It's oh, a large okay. one. Okay. So the longest one is, uh, well, 17 inches, which would make it um, 34 inches, right? That's what I get. Mm -hmm. And then the next size is about 15, so 30, and then 24 is the smallest size. But you get all, of course, all three come together. And I don't think I see anybody else um, besides Midge, if anybody wants to come in at 15 or higher. Otherwise, oh, good night, Lynn, and happy birthday. Oh, who's leaving? Happy birthday. Oh, Becky's birthday too? I missed something. What am I missing? <laughs> I don't know. Is it your birthday, Becky? We can count it down for me. I don't think I see anybody else interested. Okay. Good night, Lynn. Good night, Lynn. Happy birthday tomorrow. That is sold. Congratulations. Thank you, Mitch. Beautiful, Mitch. Put that aside. Yeah, it is beautiful. Okay, Midge, let's see. Okay. And then I have, my next one's going to start at uh, $25. $25. And this is a beautiful pile picture. And, of course, it's a kitty cat. Now, this is a big one. This is, um, the tile itself is 8 by 12. Tile. Uh, and then you have to add, of course, all the way across. Um, I, just, I had just had my ruler. So with the frame, it is 13 and a half by by nine and a half. Oh, so yours is tomorrow too, Becky. Oh my gosh, all these birthday people. Happy birthday tomorrow. So you are in Aries, right? You must be in Aries. Now, I could only find one of these online and it's by the company. I think it's by the company. The company is, it's hard to read in the back. It says painted tiles. It's by Pumpkin. I write it down and see. Pumpkin, I think it just says pumpkin tile. But you can order one online for $85. Just like it. It's if I don't know if it has a frame. But I thought he was just gorgeous. Yeah, it does have a wire in the back. Kathy, can um, you change the banner when you get a yeah. chance? Oh, sorry. No worries. Um, here we go. <laughs> yeah, cat people wake up. Isn't that cute, though? It's got the little hearts in the background. And this is really rough, this texture. This is all glazed. The hearts are glazed. This part's all glazed. But this part has like a, the background has like kind of a rough, ah, right there, rough texture. texture. But it's really, really cool. Beautiful. Nicely done. Yeah, very nicely done. It's a ceramic tile. It's in the frame. And my father's birthday was on the 12th of April. And I think my grandmother's was the 11th. Mm 
on the numb side. So yeah, just a beautiful piece. I got this yesterday too. I got this in my haul video. Actually, I have my haul video today. If you guys haven't seen my haul video, go check it out. Check out the video. Some goodies. And I brought it ready for tonight. So I don't think I see anybody interested though in my kitty cat. I love it. Show you a close up again. Just can't can't make room for it right now. <laughs> Very cute. I love the hearts. Yeah. Really, really cute. It's got a lot of interesting things at his yard sale yesterday. Uh, love to go around to yard sales outside. Sounds lovely. Mm -hmm. It was not. And yesterday was just a, a beautiful day. I'll have to take a picture. I, I did actually take a picture of um, where this house was. It was right. He had beautiful mountain views. The mountain was right behind their house. And I think I have a picture of it. I'll have to post it on Instagram. Oh man, those are so beautiful. The closer you get to the the Superstition Mountains, so pretty. But those houses, they're expensive, really pricey. But anyways, we'll go ahead and pass on this. I don't see any interest on that. So I don't think we have a lot of cat people here tonight. So I'm gonna pass and we're gonna go back to Sabrina. Get that off of there. I was waiting for Leanne's bed to come through, but it didn't. Right. Yeah, she, <laughs> she says she can't. <laughs> That's okay. I understand. <laughs> All right. I have a $25 start. This is a four-piece set. You're getting two brass candlesticks and the toppers with beading. And I think these are glass. No, I should have tested them out of here. I can't swear to it, but I think it is. It could be plastic because I didn't test them. Yeah. This is what you're getting. I know these are metal. And I think these are glass, but it's a possibility that they're plastic. And I can't, for the life of me, remember what these are called. But they are wax catchers. And they are glass. And they're pretty thick. Now, the you get two of these. They are identical. They do have patina on them, which is the way I like them. But me too. you can polish them. They have no wax in them, but they do have patina on the top as well. There's no writing on them. There's no markings. I suspect India, but there are no markings. Bubechis? Bubechis. Oh, that. You're probably right, Roxana. That wasn't the word that I was thinking of, but you're probably right. And then you just put your candle in there. And this glass collects any wax that drips down. And then this is brass colored beads. It really dresses it up. Very pretty. It does. Gorgeous. And you do get two of them. And I'll measure them so you know what size you're getting. I've had these forever. I haven't had these pieces forever, but I've, I've had these for a couple of years, but I've had these candlesticks forever. Oh, what did I do? Oh, here it is right in front of me. Yep, she's right. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it correctly, but. Seven inches tall. seven inches tall and you get all four pieces the two wax catchers and the two or the betchies 
and the two brass candle holders. And they do have a lot of weight to them. I would say at least a pound, probably a pound each. And they don't look like it because they're, they look pretty narrow, but uh, they're close to a pound, if not a pound. Beautiful brass. Yeah, it's, it is beautiful pieces. And I love all the detail, all the, the swirls in there. For whatever reason, they do screw. So it unscrews there at the base. Oh, oh, nice for shipping. That makes it nice to ship. You can put it in a tiny little box. Yeah. So it just unscrews there at the base. And then the second one is identical. So you have all of these detail that goes up and down. It's not just a flat or a piece of um, circular brass. It has a lot of detail in there, even on the feet but I don't show any interest, so we're gonna pass on those. And I believe that was my, was that my first or second? I don't even remember. First, I think, isn't it? Yep. yep, that was my first. Mm -hmm. So my second item is going to be an ashtray. And this ashtray is 1970s. Astrology Zodiac Mid-Century Ashtray. Mm -hmm. And it is going to start at $25. So you could just leave that. Oh, I'll put it, I can put it back up if I find it. Where is it? And this oh is gosh. I used to have one of those back in the day. No, I think we do have one. Let me see. Yep, we have one out in the outside. It has a little chippy on it. But yeah, we have one of those. I love that. You, um, I can send a plate stand holder with this. Not the kind that you hang on the wall, but the kind that um, you can set it. The kind that sits. Cat's in at 25. Oh, thanks, Cat. Yeah, this is a gorgeous piece. It has no condition issues. It is signed. Um, MS 73, and then it is signed with 26, which I could not figure out what the 26 was. Could it be a 76 by chance? What? Could it maybe be a 76? No, the, it's 1973, okay. but then it says okay. um, further, further over 26. Sorry. And I Sorry. couldn't understand, I couldn't figure out what the 26 was. The 73 makes sense. Mm -hmm. Okay. So Beautiful. here's the center. And then here are all the signs and there's no chips. There's no, um, there's not even any scratches on it. If you, you could also hang it because there's this lip that goes all the way around it, so it could hang as well. But that's a lot bigger than the one we have, I think. That's a, that's a big one. Let me measure it. This is 10 and a quarter inches. And we can count this down for cat. All right. Oh, 
Congratulations, Kat. Thanks so much, Kat. Beautiful. Okay, now that was your second. Yes. Okay, folks, I have my little golden book lot for the night. Don't know if anyone here is interested, but I'm going to show it anyway. Um, it's going to start at $10 for the lot. There are three in the lot, three books. So we have Pussy Willow by Margaret Wise Brown. We know her from Good Night Moon and so many other mm -hmm. children's books. It was originally 69 cents. This one came from my collection, copyright 1951. This is the second golden press printing from 1981. And it's in nice condition. I think there's just one condition issue. I'll show you some of the pages, really cute illustrations, lots of words in the story. Some little golden books don't have quite as many uh, words to the story. It's really, really cute pictures. On the back page, there is some crayon. I have not attempted to, sometimes you can erase that with an eraser. Just so you know, that's there. There's no rips or tears in the pages. It makes a nice little display book if you like kitties and birdies. And then we have the golden egg book. This one's a fun one for Easter. Was originally 89 cents. See, there's a little bit of wear on the cover, but um, it's still really good. The red is really nice here. It's a little butterfly there. Yeah, it does have gorgeous colors. Thanks, Julie. I like putting those in my Easter display. Mm -hmm. Yeah, me too. I love to, to decorate with these. Copyright 1962. This is the 14th printing from 1981. And great looking pages. Just a little bit of you know, wear around the edge, but nothing major, no um, folds, tears, rips, anything like that. Look at the little ducky in there. It's a really sweet book, really sweet story. If you haven't read it, you need to. So there's that one. And the last one is Raggedy Ann and Andy, The Little Gray Kitten. So there's a little mark right here. I think these are also some little red marks, just so you're aware those are there. there. Really sweet for those who like Raggedy Ann and Andy. And then here's some more marking right here. Or at least somebody had fun with a red marker and a little bit got on the front cover. But I think that is it for condition. I mean, there's a little bit of, um, you know, on the corners and edges of the pages, just a little bit of like wear softening of them, but really good. Oh, let's see. In 1975, original copyright. This is a 1982 printing. So early 80s for all three of these books. Really cute story, cute illustrations, very reminiscent of that time period when I was young. So no rips or tears in those pages. So you get all three of those books for $10 start. If anyone is interested in more little golden books, I did post two drop sales in the last couple of days. Oh, wow. So um, it's about 40 books altogether. So if anyone wants to check those out, you can find those on my channel. I'm going to pass on these and bring them back in the recap. And my second item for this round is going to be this cute little teapot. I say little, but it's not. It's like average size teapot, I would say, for $16 start. 16 It is gorgeous. It is made by Sadler, England. Oh, yeah. That's a good brand. 
It is porcelain. Thank you. Or ceramic. I don't know how you do tell porcelain or ceramic. <laughs> I know there's a way. So this, this says England. It's upside down. And then Sadler down here. It's probably porcelain more than likely, but yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know either. <laughs> that looks like a gold painted number. So it looks like there's some hand painted gilding and probably transfer here. It's a nice uh, cream color base. And there are no chips or cracks. It is in perfect condition. Don't see any issues with it at all. Great, great for display or to use it. I love, thanks Kay, I love it too. I love the handle, the, the little design here. I just thought was your, uh... The yellow and pink flowers with the little blue flowers. Really pretty. It's like classic shape. That's beautiful. Isn't it pretty? I think it's average sized as far as teapots go. Um, a little more than six inches, let's call it six and a half tall. And from spout to handle, eight and a half inches. And let's see, the body of it is about six inches in diameter. So six inches wide. Reminds me a little bit of Mrs. Potts from Beauty and the Beast. Oh yeah. She was the, the teapot. I thought you were gonna say Mrs. Bouquet from, remember that show on PBS? Um, Mrs. Bucket, but she called, she went by Mrs. Bouquet, keeping up appearances. She used to have her neighbor over for tea all the time. Ah. Uh, <laughs> I don't think I know that show. I'll have to look out for it. It was in English. I don't think they have it on anymore. It was an, an English show, British. Oh. This is Bouquet. It has these ribbed uh, details in the, in, the, in the mold. French yeah. country, yeah. It's a good way to classify it. Oh, yeah, that was a good show, wasn't it, Kat? <laughs> it was so funny, but they don't show it anymore. I used to love watching it. What's the name of the show? Keeping Up Appearances. Oh, okay. Let's check that out. All right. Well, let's move on from this. This is my second item. So right. thank you for taking a look. Well, I have a teapot too, but it's a tea set. Ooh, and this is going to start at 18. It's an Asian. So I have kind of an Asian theme going, not everything, but a lot of Asian things. Um, so this is a little Asian tea set. I'm going to start this off at $18. Let me show you first how it looks in the box. This is how I got it. Oops. Please do not fall out and break. Okay. Anyways, it has one, two, three, four. It has six little teacups. Now, this is tiny. I don't know how you can fill up even those little tiny teacups with that little tiny teapot. But it has a little tray. It has a teapot and the six little cups now the cups are two different designs on it so i'll show them to you um this is the first one so this will focus. vanessa's at 18. oh thank you vanessa i tried to hide it to um highlight it again for you kathy but it didn't oh. work. <laughs> so that's one of the designs there's two different designs on the teacup and then the other one uh where is it is a little lady. She looks, she looks Japanese. 
I don't know who makes this set. I don't see any marking on this. They're really tiny. Look at how tiny. And they're very thin, very thin mm -hmm. porcelain, I guess. Now, I didn't wash this or anything. I'm, it's just coming to you as is. Um, let me take, I haven't even taken this apart, but I can take this off so I can show you the tray. This is a little tray. Oh, the tray is marked. Um, it was actually made in China. This is the back. The back, this part feels kind of porous. That is a stamp on the back. If you could see that. It's really hard to see. And it's, you can see the light through this. It's really, you know, pretty thin. It's so cool. I just love how it looks in the box. So the tray is uh, five and a half inches in diameter. A children's set. Could be. Could be a child set. Yeah. If you just want a little a spot of tea. A literally a spot or a drop of tea. <laughs> I'm going to try to get this tied back in here. And then I'll take the tea teapot out. Oops. This is a little teapot. So cute. Hi, Steph. Hey, Steph. Hi, Steph. Yeah, that is cute. Mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. And this also has that little mark stamp in the bottom. Oops, I guess it's upside down. Oh, could it be sake? I don't know. Do they serve sake out of little teapots like this? Not that shape. They're usually tall and thin. But you could put sake in there if you want. Yeah. Sure could. And pretend it's tea. <laughs> yeah, don't tell anyone. <laughs> yeah, just don't tell anyone. <laughs> so the teapot is about four and a half inches and about two and a half inches tall. So it's just a cute, sweet little set. I think I just thought it was adorable. I love it. Love it, love it. So I had to get it. Let me see if I can put this teapot back. Okay, how did you go in here? You, I know you fit in here. Okay, well, we'll figure that out later. Oh, well, there we go, like this. Okay, I don't think I see anybody else interested, so we can count it down for Vanessa. Yeah, it's for and it comes with this cute little box. You and all of your dolls. This box is adorable. Mm -hmm. I don't know if those go in there. They're supposed to go in, but I don't know if they actually do. Oh, there we go. A cute little box story and in the box i don't know if it's wood or not i can't tell it's all lined that sake will sock it to you quick <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah you can count it down for oh i'm sorry i was one. reading the chat and wasn't paying attention I should have <laughs> oh they're roses i just got it quick a little roses on here and it is sold congratulations thank you vanessa yeah, that's a really nice little set. Okay. I'll be right back. And then uh, my second item. Where is it? Where is it? I know when you're... Oh, okay. This is going to start at $10. This is a Cloisonne vase. It is brass. Oh, that's then, great. Then it has the enamel. And it has a wood base. And change your banner when you get a chance. Oh, maybe. yes. Let's see if we can get this to focus. Yeah, it's really pretty. I love this flower. Mm -hmm. Just beautiful. Mm 
It is a small vase, very small. Let me get you a measurement. Oh, I see Vanessa. Vanessa. Thank you, Vanessa. Um, this measures, oops, about six inches tall. It's so pretty. See the detail. That's the wood, la wood lacquered um, or lacquered wood on the bottom. And that is brass. Oh, you have one that's similar to this? And we can go ahead and count it down for Vanessa. I don't see anybody else. <laughs> Congratulations, Vanessa. Thank you, Vanessa. They're both going to you. Thanks so much. Let's go back to Sabrina. Let me get this off of there. <laughs> All right. This is two pictures um starting bid is twenty dollars for both oops now the frames are scratched um i think some polishing some wood polish would help that but just keep in mind that um the frames are the wood is scratched oh i like that frame. i think i have something that has that kind of frame it's really pretty. But it's some, some green in the background. And you've got this one where the man does have a leashed Dalmatian. And let me see if I put down the year for these. No, I did not. Um, they are the shape of a diamond. And they are pretty old. Just has the stamp on the back. This is the second one. Similar, but different. Still a man and a woman. And Kathy, you might want to highlight the price when you get it. Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Still the same background in this green. And there's a different dog in this picture. But the frames, they're beat up a little bit as far as scratches go. But I had some similar to this, and I did polish them, and it did bring them to light. You can bring this old wood to life a little oh, bit. Absolutely. You can't go wrong with wood. They do have these hangers on the top, so they're ready to hang. I like it too, Bonnie. Let me measure them. They are... 14 and a half tall, 10 and a half wide. So you're getting them both for the $20 start. And let me show them both to you at the same time so that you can see the differences. And if you love the frames, but you hate the pictures, you can always take the pictures out and put new pictures in them. Yeah, absolutely. Trying to get off the, the glare a little bit. This is what they look like. The frames are identical. It's got this beading around them. 
other than the, the, the scuffs and the scratches, they're in great condition. You know, as far as um, there, I mean, there's no pieces taken out of them. They're not busted up. The corners, there's no condition with the corners. I mean, it looks like it's all one piece. They're really in good condition as far as that goes. But I don't see any interest, so we're going to put them aside and we'll bring them back for the speed round. Let me sit them down. And I have an owl. This is going to start at 18. It is an Od Odegary owl from 1979. It is also musical. Oh, look at the baby in there. <laughs> Cute. Inside the trunk of the tree, there is a baby. And let me wind it up because it does move. Oh. And it's plays Love Will Keep Us Together. Let me show you the bottom. It does have the name of the song on the Odagiri tag. Oh, I did not realize the date was on the bottom. I looked it up. <laughs> and the whole time the date was there. Mm. So the oh baby does move back and forth. The mom is watching over him. That is too precious. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that is adorable. And I will measure him. <laughs> I didn't wind it up very much, but the more you wind it, the longer and the more the baby moves. Um, almost five inches tall. And it is about five inches wide. <laughs> I know, so do I. Vanessa, I love this song too. Oh, that is just so stinking cute. Man. The end. There's no chips or cracks. It's in beautiful condition. Even the little points of the leaves are in perfect condition. It's got two tags. It's got the tag on the bottom, and then it's got a tag on the back that says hand-painted Odegary 1979. It's got the date on it twice. Oh, there too. Wow. Yeah, that's just adorable. All right. Well... I can't believe no one's grabbing this. Either. With all the owl lovers out there. All right. Well, we'll bring this back for the speed round. So yeah, think about wait, it. Wait a minute. Cat, cat got it. <laughs> oh, thank you so <laughs> much. I got to get this. <laughs> well, we'll oh, and Midge, you too. So, okay. So now we have a, now we have an auction. So Midge, you will have to go at 19 or higher. Is uh, Cat is in first at 18. I was wondering where you were, Midge. I thought maybe you left. <laughs> so let us know if you're still in Midge or, yep, she is. She's in at 19. Because I know Midge loves owls too. Oh. Oh, Cat's in at 20. <laughs> Yeah, that is so stinking cute. I mean, I've never seen anything like it, that baby. 
I haven't either. I've had this for quite some time. Pass the popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh, that's just adorable. Maybe we'll stop <laughs> right at the opening this time. Oh no, he always stops back there. Huh. Okay, Midge is out. <laughs> Cat's in at 22. Thanks, Midge. Thanks so much, Cat. <laughs> Yeah, he's going to sleep. Sold yeah. a cat. You know, congratulations, cat. That was adorable. And that was my two. It was your two? Okay. Yes. All right. Well, I just so happen to have a Japanese vase in the show. Sorry, Vanessa. <laughs> it's going to start at just $11 for this little one. It's nicely painted. Oh, it, has some, love that. it has some raised paint areas here. I love the colors and, on that. Yeah, really vibrant colors. Great condition. It is, you know, a smaller piece. It is, let's see, three and three quarters inches tall. Ooh, Vanessa's in. Thanks, Vanessa. No, no pressure. There's a little something there I haven't tried to, to get out. Just just saw that for the first time, actually. It is stamped made in Japan. I'm not sure of the age. I think it's a really neat design. When it has texture, that texture. Yeah, it's like raised paint. And right here, it's all bumpy. <laughs> oh, she said her grandmother had a tea set with that pattern. With this pattern? Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Well, uh, Julie thinks it's that Suma. Oh. Yeah, yeah, I think so too, Julie. Oh, neat. I didn't know that. See, it's sort of a mirrored finish there, maybe just gold, but it, it looks kind of like a mirror. Definitely reflective. All right. Well, if anyone else is interested, pop in. I don't want to spend a lot of time on this one. It's it's kind of self-explanatory. No chips. No cracks. No repairs. How was your dinner, Steph? All right, we can count down for Vanessa. Great. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. And let's see. I'll write you down here. How many left? Um, how many do you ladies have left? I have an odd number for some reason. So I. Two. What? Just two? I have four left, including four. the one I'm about to show. <laughs> so. Oh. I have, man, why do I have like six left? <laughs> I have um, so we'll let, me, let me check. How much did you say you had, uh, Leanne? Um, including you should, this. You ladies should have four left. After this one, I have three left. So I must have. Um, oh, must after. 
Oh, after that one, because I'm last, so that's right that I have six, right? You should have four. No, after my last turn, I'll have four. You guys no, have four. I only have two left. Oh, you only have two? Well, I only have... Let me double check. <laughs> yeah, six. <laughs> I have a giant vase with a <laughs> jar with a lid. It's a jar with a lid. I'm going to start because it's going to cost you a bit to ship it. I'm going to start it at. That's beautiful. 24. That's gorgeous. 24. Wow. Oh my gosh. <gasps> That's gorgeous. Do you like it? Excuse me, Kathy. Take that back. <laughs> Blue. Well, obviously, I didn't count correctly because I have an odd number left. So I don't know what I did. It is not signed, strangely. It is not signed. It is, it is weighty. I do think it may be China. I don't know, like an earlier China piece. So pretty. Not sure. I got it from an estate sale. No chips or cracks or repairs that I can see at all. No crazing. Yeah, that's so pretty. Mm -hmm. I only showed 10 items. I counted the items I showed. It was only 10. Or ashes. So. Uh, let me double check and see how many. Wait, I we oh. started with 16 items like usual, right? Yeah. Oh, I thought you said you have 10 items. No, I have six items left. I showed 10. Oh, you showed 10. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. Let me measure for you here. I didn't do that ahead of time. I'm sorry about that. Oh, let's say 12 inches tall. And its girth, its widest, is a little more than seven. I love the shape of it. I love I love the color. I love the sh I love everything about that. It's so pretty. Mm -hmm. Just beautiful. Your husband made you shiitake mushroom stuff. Oh, that sounds so good. Oh. Yum, yum, That's yum. Good. Tell him to come over here and cook for me. <laughs> oh man, that sounds good. Mm -hmm. I think this just makes a nice little decorative piece. Oh, know, yeah. An entryway table, something like that. Is it white and blue or yellow and blue? It's like a beigey yellow blue. Okay. Yellow and blue. It's very it's, pretty. That's large enough you can set on the floor, too. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's... Uh, not quite beige and it's not quite yellow yeah it's kind of like a um creamy kind of mm -hmm. like a, taupe, a taupe almost a taupe, yeah i like that word for a taupe mm -hmm. but yeah that's just gorgeous and there's a little difference in sort of the blue which is kind of more shiny and the um the taupe some slight variants there all right well i'm gonna set it down it is heavy i meant to weigh it ahead of time but i didn't so oh and blueberry oh was that for your early birthday becky or you're probably gonna get even more special dinner tomorrow well, that was my second one for this round i know that all right then you guys count who you got left and but i know i i always show 10 and so I have, and I have six left. So okay, so I'll find another. Okay, yeah, that's right, because I have two rounds left. I'll okay. find another item to add. See, Kathy, she says I always count wrong. I must have shown three in one round or something. I don't know. <laughs> All right. Um, okay, I have a oh, over here. I should grab them. This is going to start at eight dollars. Eight dollars, and you're going to get both of these. These are a set of two elements that go together, but I'm going to sell them together. So this is the little one. This was made in Japan. He's got his trunk up. He's got something in there. 
probably like clay that was baked in there, a piece of clay. Uh, this one was made in Japan. Just a Kathy little. Banner when you get a chance, honey. Cute, cute. Oh, you sent me pictures? Oh, great. Now I'm going to be really hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, money or, well, Nightmare said it could be a diamond maybe in there. A little diamond. It's too small for money. But a diamond would fit inside. You had to break it open to find out. So that's the first little elephant. And then the second one is a little bit larger. He's heavier. Uh, yeah, they almost look the same. They both have little holes in their bellies. Um, but this is a larger one. It's not marked. It's a really cute little elephant. And I will get you measurements on both of these. Yeah, I think it's a piece of clay that got in, loose inside and baked. So that's the second elephant. I'll show you what they look like side by side. I guess I should put it on my little, my little board here. So Becky, I see you're doing you're doing sales now on your channel. I just caught you by accident the other night. I didn't realize that. So do you have a special day that you're doing it? So this one is four inches tall and about six inches long. And the little guy is three inches tall and about five inches long. This seems kind of weird, but yeah. So you get them both. You have a little collection of elephants, ceramic, vintage. I'm sure they're both vintage. They're in really good condition. I don't see any chips or cracks. Just really sweet pair of elephants. But I don't think I see any interest on these, so we can pass on these. Cute little guys. And then I have another vase, another Asian style vase. Uh, this one is going to start at, um, we'll just do $10 on this. And this is, I believe this, I'm not sure if it's brass, because it almost looks like it has like a silver color inside. So, And it has some weight to it. It's very, very pretty. I'm not really sure. It has some kind of a, like, paint on the outside. And there's a scene on here. It's really, really pretty. Yeah, it has a really nice shape. It has some weight. It is kind of weighty. So I don't know what kind of metal that is. I thought it was brass, but it, it almost looks... Um, like some type of a silvery color. So I really don't know what it, what it would be. Oh, you're working on your birthday? Oh, I never heard of that. De Demas? Damascene. Damascene? I don't know what that is. I'll have to look that up. I don't know what that is. Let's see, it has different colors in here. What is, um, oh, etched brass? Oh, it could be. Yeah, it's absolutely beautiful. Maybe lined with aluminum? That could be, possibly, like brushed aluminum. I don't know. But it has some weight to it. That's why I just don't know what it would be. Oh, usually jewelry. Yeah, because that looks like brass, um, this part here. Let's see if we can get a close-up of it. That almost looks like brass in there. See how that's carved in there? It's beautiful. It's really, really pretty. I'll get you a measurement. Yeah, it's just beautiful vase. Look at that. That has a really nice shape. Oops. So let's see. It is about 
seven and a half inches tall. And the bottom with that um, is probably about four and a half inches from the widest point. Oh, aluminum dipped in brass, dipped in, oh, interesting. And a black lacquer, huh? Yeah, whatever it is, it's beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. That's what the bottom looks like. But I don't see any interest in this, so we're going to go ahead and pass. And we'll show it in the recap. Um, go back to Sabrina. <laughs> I have um, a vanity mirror. It is large. It starts at $24, which is a good price for a vanity mirror this large. Um, but there are some scratches on it. So I want to tell you, I show you those. Let me see. Um, they are small scratches. You're not going to be able to see them, I guess. They're right there. Right there, right in the center, where perfume bottles um, were sitting. That's what I used it for, perfume bottles. It's also great for um, makeup on your kitchen, um, your bathroom counter. This is an older one. It does have four feet. It does measure 18 long by 12 and a quarter wide. <laughs> Hi, Angela. How are you? It is gold tone. The Hi, There's no condition issues on the frame or no cracks or breaks on the mirror other than the scratches. This brown bottom or backing. And to me, it's the perfect size because you can set a lot of perfume bottles or your makeup or your um, your lotions, your moisturizer, anything like that, your cleanser and all of that on it and have everything together. There's really no wear on it anywhere. There's nothing wrong with the frame. but there are those few scratches right in the middle. And this is $24. And again, the measurements are 18 by 12 and a half or 12 and a quarter. If anyone is interested in that. And now it's got my fingerprints all over it. Mm -hmm. But we can pass on the mirror. I think Lynn was interested, but she left. She must have left. Yeah, I think she left early. My next um, item is an eight dollar start for these horses. I'm not sure of the maker. It doesn't. There's nothing on the bottom. And these are the last ones that I have left like this. It's a black horse and a brown horse. There's no condition issues. Their ears, their mane, their tail, even the little flowers down here are in perfect condition. 
There's pinks, purples, white, yellow flowers all down here. Everything is in perfect condition. I believe it is five inches across. Let me just double check. Five and a half inches across and four inches tall. I love those trays. I have like, I think I have three, three of them. <laughs> I, have, I have several too. Yeah. All right. We can pass on the horses and go back to Leanne. All right. All right. Thank you. This is going to be choice starting at 20. I showed these on an Instagram post and asked people to guess who they were. And two of them were, were guessed correctly. One was not. And so I'm going to show them all to you and see what you think. If you already know, maybe let other people guess um, first. Um, this one you might know. She just had her 90th birthday. And these are little crocheted dolls. So these two are a set. This would be um, one choice together. She had her 90th birthday? Yeah, just a couple days ago. Oh, I think I know. Oh, I do know who it is. I, she was just on TV. I didn't know she turned 90. Mm -hmm. She was just on um, like a Today Show or something. She looks good. 1939, she was born. She looks yes, really Lou. good. Holy Lou got it. Hi, Lou. Nice to see you, Lou. Oh my gosh. She has gray hair. How cute. Blue top. I know. They're really nicely done. And this is a little chimpanzee. At least that's how it was labeled when I got it. So that is one choice. The next choice is this one. I'm supposed to guess who she is, too. Mm hmm. Hmm. Any clues? Another um, famous woman from history. She's a little earlier than Jane Goodall. She is a famous is Nobel she, Prize is winner. Holding. Lou is has it. It's a beaker. Oh, okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Lou yeah. is smart. <laughs> Marie Curie. Yes, Madam Curie. Oh, yeah, okay. She was Polish born, but lived in France. Yep, see so that one. And here's the last one. This is a little trickier because it's not quite as far back in history. Oh, I bet I know who she is. She's a girl. Um, uh, God, where is she from? I can't think of her name, though. Yep, Greta. Yeah. No, I didn't make these. I'm not that great <laughs> at, at crochet. <laughs> yes, it's Greta Thun Thunberg. She is a Swedish environmentalist. Okay, there you go. Very young, from just a okay. few years ago. I knew she was, I couldn't think of her name. Yeah. So of course on Etsy, they're listed for quite a bit when you find them and they are probably made from a pattern that's out there, but they're all slightly different because they're handmade, yeah. of course. Right. Those are so cute. Her, her little arms and her little hoodie, the little yellow hoodie that she oh, yeah. wore. Yeah, Thunberg. We really got her good. They, they really um, did a good job for her. Mm hmm Yeah, because she had the single braid on the side, a yeah. little bit of a wispy bang there. Yeah, so there you go. They are all, except for the chimpanzee, which comes with Jane Goodall, um, eight and a half inches tall. Yes. 
And I found them during Women's History Month, which I thought oh, was. Oh, well, that was appropriate, yeah. Women in History Month, yes. Each is $20 start, so it's choice. These two go together. Can't separate the, the chimp from Jane. Yeah. She has little curls back here. All right. Thanks for taking a look at those. I think those that was are, just my well, those were, Yeah, it was. And let's see. It was a lot of work to do those. Yeah, and they yeah. were done so well. They're yeah. really, yeah, they're nicely done. Um, I have a canister set. I'm asking a start of 28. They are glass with plastic tops. And they are from 1982, and they are um, ducks. Ooh, the ducks. Ducks, yes. They're made by Carlton, which made a lot of different versions of the same glass jar, but just different decorations. This one says Carlton, 1982. She said Greta got arrested over the weekend. I did not. I'm not great about following the news these days, honestly. So these lids screw on. So great to keep it airtight. There's no chips or cracks. I didn't see any um, uh, scratches on the decals. I also didn't wash them. So they're a little bit of cloudiness there. So I apologize. But it's, it's pretty nice glass anyway. Here's the bottom. This is Carlton Glass, USA, two liter. So this one is the biggest. And then I have the next smallest. Checking over the, the transfer, make sure they're not scratched. Carlton Glass, 1982, nice lid. Yellow lid. This one is the next smallest. And this one says 1L, so I'm guessing that's one liter. The, the other one was uh, one, one and a half liters, the last one I just showed. So this is one liter. Again, with the cute little ducks. Nice little retro set for your kitchen and here's the last one i have all four this one is, is three quarter liter those are fun yes they are really really cute 1983 hi darlene hey darlene greta Thunberg, T H U N B E R G. She is a Swedish environmental activist known for challenging world leaders to take immediate action for climate change mitigation. So I think these are darling. I think they're in great shape. I don't see any signs of wear. They are glass, Carlton glass. They have screw top lids. Nice, nice nice store for storage. Keep your food fresh. You could even store your crafty items in here too. I might have to do that if I end up with them. Okay, well that is my second one for this round. Thank you. Okie dokie. Okay, so let's see what should we show next. Um, okay, this is going to start at, let's do this one for $10. $10 start. These, um, you've probably seen these, these, you can call them elves, you can call them, I don't know, you can call them whatever you want to call them. <laughs> um, they're very mid-century mid modern. Um, 
they're Tilso. They're very MCM. Somebody wrote on the bottom 1964. But these used, used to be pretty popular back in the day. It's got a little instrument, some pearl jewels on, pearl rings and little doodads. <sighs> I'm sure you're all pretty familiar with these old guys. Um, I don't know what kind of material it is, if it's plastic or some type of composite material. Um, they have some that are like in red colors you could use for Christmas. This one you could probably use all year round, display them. And it's just something very, you know, if you like that MCM look, or if you remember this, if you're as old as me and remember this from your childhood, although we didn't have this in my childhood, my mother didn't have these, but um, some people did. They're kind of cool. Lyre. Lyra? Is that the, what is that? Um, it's an instrument. It's a lyre. <laughs> okay. What do you call a lyre? <laughs> I'll be right back. Oh, so the instrument's a liar. Thank you, Becky. <laughs> yep, so these little figures. They have, does he have ears? Are those his ears? Not really sure. Oh no, that's his hair. So let me get you a quick measurement on this guy. He is about seven and a half inches tall. He's in pretty good condition. His little shirt is felt. And I don't know what else to say about him. I'm, I think they were made in Japan, but I'm not really sure because it has no marking on it. But they have like an Asian feel to it, the way his eyes are. We can pass on him. And then uh, the next item is going to be an $8 start. Oh, I don't know if you did, Apple. You didn't buy anything from me. You weren't sure? <laughs> you just, just wait for the invoice. No. <laughs> you bought the skull wax melt for me to send oh, to Helen. That's right. You I give that was. That was 10. <laughs> so this is going to start at 8. And this is Little Boyd's Bear for spring. Yeah, you bought it all, Apple. Yeah, you bought it all. Don't you remember? You bought that thing for me for 100 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> It says happy spring. Got a little cute little bow in her hair. She's got the Boyd's tag. Um, nineteen eighty eight to two thousand five. Let's see that. Midge is in for eight. Oh, thank you, Midge. Yeah, she's really cute. I love her little flower. And I don't know if that, no, I guess it's sewn on to her hands. Oh, she's got a little, where do I see a tag? Oh, that says Boyd's Bear. Boyd's Bears there. And then she's got another little tag that says, boy, they really want you to know that this is a Boyd's. <laughs> There's another tag there that says Boyd's. And then there's a little heart or a little footprint on the other side. So we can go ahead and count it down for, for uh, Midge. <laughs> We're almost done, Apple. 
One more round after this one. That's a midge. Congratulations. That's a midge. That was my second. So let's go back to Sabrina. I have a hand painted floral picture on canvas. It's going to start at seven. I had three different ones. This is the last one I have left. And this is painted in an old paint can, it looks like. Beautiful blue background with some florals on the floor or tabletop. Or... <laughs> and this is sign Doan, D-O-A-N-E. Here is the back. It is a canvas board. And this is a six by four inch, six inches tall, four inches wide. It's not very thick, but it starts at only seven. And they did beautiful work. Mm -hmm. I love all three of them. Well, thanks, Steph. Yeah, it's. They were all three beautiful, but this paint can one was actually my favorite. I like that blue. Yeah, me too. Well, we can count this down for Steph. If anyone else wants to jump in at eight, do it really quick. Thanks, Steph. Congratulations. Now, I have a planter. It has a little chip on it, which is, and I've had this forever, but I have not shown it because it has a little chip on it. So I'm just going to start it at $8. It's still a beautiful planter. It's the Lord's Prayer. And it has the praying hands on the front. And it's a very old chip right here. You can look and see the discoloration and tell that it's old. But it is right in the front. Here's the side, the back, and the other side. It is a little stained. I have cleaned it really well, but it does have just a little discoloration in the inside of it, where you can see a little yellowing in the corner here. Overall, it's in really good condition. It's made by Relpo, number five, five six, six, eight. And it's stamped Samson Import Company from 1967. Now, personally, I never used it as a um, planter. I kept a couple of crosses in it but I never used it as a planter, but someone did prior to me. I'm gonna measure it. It is only six inches tall and about four and a quarter inches wide. And then from front to back, it's four inches. It's still a beautiful planter. You could even put rosaries or, I mean, you can use it as a planter. But we can pass on that. 
me go back to Leanne. That was my last two items. All right. Okay, this is choice starting at five. I have two decks of playing cards. They are both sealed. I was about to list them on eBay. I thought I'd bring them here first. They do sell on eBay. I, it's obviously the Beatles or what? Star Wars Mandalorian. Thank you, Lou. I have a thing for playing cards, so I, I tend to collect them. I have a lot too. <laughs> Can't possibly use them all. But. Thank you, Christy. Appreciate your bids. Hey, Patsy. Patsy. Hello. Hi, Patsy. Hey, Miss Patsy. Hold all of a sudden. They're all sealed. Now, I didn't think to look at the year. I know, you know, this has to be fairly recent because Mandalorian is recent. I put my glasses on and see the Beatles one if they have a. Yeah, so you need to come at seven or higher. I think Christy is at six. No, can't find a date on it. We'll see what Patsy wants to do, if she wants to come in at seven or not. They're both sealed. I don't know what the cards look like. Let's look at the back. So the cards That's cool. look like that. I like the Beatles. Celebrate the Fab Four's first visit to America with this commemorative deck of playing cards. Oh, she just woke up. Oh, <laughs> she's in at eight. Oh, thank you, Patsy. There's choice. So you can pick this one or this one. Christy is out. Thanks so much, Christy. Lou, let us know if you're still in. Hey, Lou is out. All right, let's count it down. All let's right. Patsy, you can go ahead and type in what your choice is as soon as you want to. Congratulations. <laughs> eight naps. <laughs> yeah. Wrong. Oh, I thought you, she said she took eight naps. <laughs> oh, funny. So would you like the Mandalorian or the Beatles? Okay, Beatles for eight to Patsy. Um, next highest was Christy, I believe, at six. Christy, are you interested in this at six? No worries if not. Okay, great. Christy, you get this for six. Thank oh, you. Great. Congratulations, everybody. Congratulations. Sorry, Lou. All right. And last but not least for me, this little felted gnome guy. <laughs> it's so cute. I didn't oh, make it. Cute. I didn't make it. I bought it like this. It has natural wooden feet. Um, I'm asking $8 to start. I did see some others online, so I did. I did compare online to the same little little type of guy. So these are natural wood feet. This is uh, not discoloration. It was just the the way the wood is. I love the pink hat because I love pink. And then the um, sort of a light teal, not quite mint green little shirt. With his little arm up. I guess you can pose him. And then the lavender pants. So cute. It's very lightweight for shipping. Makes a 
it does stand up on its own really nicely. Cute for spring. I like the little rosy cheeks. I don't know if it was like a handmade thing for something that was in a gift shop. I mean, it's obviously handmade by someone. Yeah. I saw some listed from gift shops um, for quite a bit more than eight. So I thought I'd start them at eight. So the cute little wooden feet. After all the big heavy stuff, I needed to go with a few little light things. <laughs> so, it is felted. I haven't yet done any hand felting. Have you done any, ladies? I haven't. I have a little felting needle and I have some, some felt, some wool, I guess. All right, well. If you change your mind, here's this little guy. I'm going to say it's about six inches with the hat, six and a half. That Lori Ann from um, Sugar Bridges, she does uh -huh. really nice felting. Does felting. she? Nice. She's very artistic. Yeah. I know our, our friend Angela, VOA. Oh, yeah, Angela, yes. She does some cool work. She does felting. Right. All right. We'll pass on this guy and go back to Kathy. Okay. Thank you. Okay, last two items. Um, let's do, I have this uh, necklace. It's going to start at $8. Uh, this is by Cookie Lee. I don't know if you guys are familiar with Cookie Lee. Mm -hmm. um, I think it used to be sold at like house parties. Um, mm -hmm. The Cookie Lee brand. So this is a beautiful two, well, it's kind of like a two strand. It's kind of it's two strands in the bottom. In the top, it's single. Um, they did put a closure on it. I don't know why. Maybe if you want to make it longer, possibly. I don't know. It doesn't really need a closure, but it does have a lobster uh, claw. Little clip there. I'm not sure why. Uh, it originally sold for I will get you a measurement, but that's what it looks like. It's silver tone. It has some pinks, some white. Um, and I don't know. Let's see what this says. Sometimes it says. Um, it says genuine shell. So it does have some shell. There's not a lot of shell on there, but what, what, they, what it does have what shell it does have is genuine, <laughs> but there's very little of it. Um, the bees, I believe, are plastic. I'm not going to take this off. Better. For some reason, it's on the black, it just doesn't really show. What's that noise? Anybody else hear that? What I does it sound like? Like a, a keyboard. Oh, is that a keyboard? Yeah. Oh, I'm I'm typing, maybe it's me. Oh. I'll, mute. I'll mute myself. Sounds like a rumbling or something. Okay, let me get you a measurement on this. And I am gonna, I don't know if I should undo that hook to see. Why is there a hook on here? Let's see. Let's find out. Oh, baby. Gosh, I really don't know why. I don't know why it has a hook on it. Maybe you could place. I don't know. I really don't know why. <laughs> I'm afraid I'm going to mess it up. Okay. Okay, but let's get you a measurement. Find my ruler. <laughs> I 
You typed like Leanne. It is well, 17 would be 34 inches. So 34 inches. It's really nice and long. It got cold in here all of a sudden. It's gotten chilly here too. It's like when the sun goes down, it still gets a little bit chilly. So it's really pretty. It is very pretty. Oh, thank you so much, Becky, for putting that in there. Um, I don't know if, if everybody's aware. I know we, we talked about it in the beginning, but Kathy from the Kitchy Cat needs some help. Um, her and her mother have like seven days to leave uh, their place. And they need, um, there's a GoFundMe account to help them with their moving expenses. So um, if you could go, please, and, you know, donate it, whatever you can. You know, it's no obligation, but it would be nice um, to help her out. Kathy is a dear friend, the kitschy cat. Kathy and I started this um, this show together a few years ago as the Chatty Kathys. And she really needs some help right now. But yeah, this is a pretty little necklace. So this was just that anything, any outfit. But I don't see any interest, so we're going to go ahead and pass on that. And then my last item, I did reduce the price on this one. Um, I only have one because the other one was broken. Um, but it's a chalkware owl. I'm going to start this off at $14. Oh, she has less than 1500 Oh, good. I'm hoping that she can reach her goal um, so they can find a place. She's sole caretaker of her mother, and um, they really need some help. Yes, he's back, Apple. Nobody wants him, so I have to keep showing him till somebody buys him. This is by Miller Studios, uh, 1978. I used to hear all kinds of weird noises. You guys hear that? I hear like a scratchy background noise. Like a, well, yeah, it's almost like a, it almost sounds like a rattlesnake. <laughs> like a rattlesnake rattle. <laughs> oh gosh um, I'm not sure Lou if she has or not I don't hear anything I know usually it is a 30 day um, so but I don't know how long this I don't know I don't know the situation that they're in um, I just know she's got a really rotten landlord and he's been he's just been pretty rotten with him um, Kathy's been trying to get out of there for a long time but her mother has not been wanting to move, so it's been real, really difficult on her. Um, and now it looks like they have no choice. There's a little hanger in the back. Aliens, can you hear it, Apple? I don't Me hear it anymore. I don't oh. hear it. Anymore. I heard it. <laughs> oh, you guys do hear it. It stopped. Oh. Let me measure him. I've never heard it. Except for when you were typing, I heard something, but... This is a different noise. So it's 11 inches by 5 inches. He's so cute. Oh, you're communicating with the aliens? <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, that's my last item. So we're going to do a quick recap, a speed round. So if you guys that came in later, you missed anything, and we're going to start with, oh, and then we're going to have add-ons also. I forgot to mention that. We do have add-ons that if you made a purchase with us, whoever you made a purchase from, or if you have an open box with, you can do an add-on as little items between zero and $5. Let's go back to Sabrina. All right. Um I have the Raggedy Ann dolls. They're very primitive. They're $7 in each. Um, $7 each, number one. If you're interested, just let me know which one you're interested in. 
This is the first one. Um, and they are between nine and a half and ten and a half inches. This is the second one. It's um, a necklace with twine and a wooden heart. And this is the third one. This is Andy. The other two were Raggedy Ann. All right. They were seven each, number one. I have the brass candlestick with the wax catchers. I've already forgotten what they're called. But you get two of these with the glass and beaded catchers. Um, so for all four pieces, it's $20, number two. $20, number two. For $8, you get the two white kitties with the little bows. One's asleep, one's awake. The one awake is just a little bit, um, about an inch taller. And the, they're $8 for the pair, number three. The glass swans have a very nice polished bottom. One has its neck and head up. The other one further down. These are $15 each, number six. $15 each, number six. And anyone wanting measurements, just let me know. I'd be happy to measure anything that I'm not giving measurements on. I have the mirror, the gold tone mirror. It does have some slight scratching in the center. This is 18 long by 12 and a quarter wide. It is $24, number 20. I have the Gory Gory um, 1960s Italian Chianti Green Grape Bottle with the original insert and lid, $22, number seven, and it's glass, and it's got its original labor, labor, label. I have the Hazel Atlas Colonial Blue Dish, $12, number nine. It's in wonderful condition. And I, that's it. That's all of my regular items. So let me show you my add-ons. Give me a second so I can reach over. Um, they were seven dollars a piece, Midge. Unless you want all three, and then I can just make you a deal. But they were seven each, and they were number one. All right, I have a 
wood frame with a picture of a cat, two cats. And it says, a house without a cat is like a kiss without a hug. And just if you need a refresher, um, add-ons can be added if you um, made a purchase with us or if you have an open box with me, meaning that you've made a purchase with me, but I have not invoiced you yet. And these are just low weight, low cost items that you can add to your already box that won't add a lot of weight or cost to your box. And just put in the number that I give with this item. And this is $3 and it is number 22. Did you see Midge's comment? I did. Okay. Thank you. Cold again. Okay. Let me. Do you want the one that matches him? Or the other one? Because one specifically matches him. The other one, it's a little different. So just let me know, Midge. I have another cat hanger. This is all wood. No glass. And this says, he who dislikes the cat was in his former life a rat. <laughs> and it's got a metal heart hanger. This is $3, number three. Okay, I've got you, Midge. Thank you so much. $3, number three. <laughs> Apple. I have this shell with no condition issues. And this is two dollars. It is number 24. And I only see Patsy, so I'm going to put Patsy down. Thank you so much, Patsy. I have this cute little elephant. It's some type of resin, but it's this beautiful reddish brown. That's cute. It's got his trunk up. It does not have any markings. It was one of my daughters that she's getting rid of. And this is going to be $4, number five. $4, number five. Yes, Patsy. Is just, I think, one item in it. And I only see Bonnie. So I'm going to put Bonnie down. Thank you, Bonnie. I have a stone elephant. Oh, wow. I have one, too. <laughs> oh, do you? Yeah. I'm doing this one at $5. It's a little larger and it's stone. So this one's going to be $5. Oh, 
and this is number 26. I have this um, gray horse. It is made out of plastic. This is $2 and it's number 27. It has no condition issues. It does stand on its own. $2, number 27. I have another shell. This one has some pinks in it, but my light blows it out. And there's three little dots right there of holes. This shell is $2 and it is number eight. $2, number eight. I see Bonnie so far. And I don't see anyone else. I'm going to put down Bonnie. Now I have a zero dollar for this white plastic course. This one's much smaller. For zero dollars, number nine. I see Bonnie. I don't see anyone else, so I'm going to put down Bonnie. And I have one more item for zero dollars. And this is a little bit larger, but it doesn't weigh anything. Um, it is this wallet. can be a wristlet and it has a lot of uh, room and compartments on the inside, but I don't know how to fix it. I bought it to sell and then I didn't realize it had this issue. It has some wearing right here. And I don't want to sell it with that wearing or with that wear. So it's going to just be zero dollars, but it looks brand new on the inside. It does not even look like it's been used. So if anyone wants this for zero dollars, it's number 30. Or if someone knows how to fix that, it is the brand is 
Montana West. And I see Patsy. Thanks, Kathy. Oh, you're welcome. All right, it's yours, Patsy. Thanks so much. And that was all of mine. Okay. Deanne's turn. All right, my quick recap is this little red bunny cotton ball dispenser. You dispense your cotton balls out here. He is a very true red, very vibrant red. Really cute. It's ceramic. And this is $9. And it's number two. $9 number two. Thank you, Kathy. Um, had the little golden book lot. For $10, you get this Pussy Willow, the egg book. And Raggedy Ann and Andy and the little gray kitten. Raggedy Ann and Andy has some writing on the inside cover. The Pussy Willow book has some crayon on the back page. And the egg book is pretty nice. They're both all from the mid or sorry, early 80s. All printed in the early 80s. $10 for the lot number nine. Um, number 10 for $28 is a canister set also from the eighties. I believe it's 1983. This is the large one, which is two liters. This is the small one, which is three quarters of a liter. They're all in terrific. I would say like new condition. And the set is $28 number 10. A plastic yellow lid that screws on. Seems very airtight. And let's see, what else do we have? I have the teapot. This is Sadler, England. It is beautiful. It has lots of gold hand painting on it. And what I, I believe to be hand painting. It's all the way around here at the top. This is $16, number 12, $16, number 12. There's no chips or cracks, no crazing. Sadler, England is what it says on the bottom. $16, number 12. Had the little crochet dolls. They're $20 each. This one is Greta Thunberg. Not crocheted by me, but by someone who was very talented. These are her little arms. I have Marie Curie with her little beaker and her beautiful little curls. They are about eight inches tall. And I have Jane Goodall and her chimpanzee companion. Also $20. If you're interested in any of those, just type in the name. I had the giant jar unmarked with a lid. I have it priced at, uh, let's see, it's really big. Um, what did I price it at? Oh, I don't see it. There it is. $24. $24. It's a huge jar. No chips or cracks. It is unmarked. Ugh. Sorry about that. Several pounds. And if you're interested in this for $24, it's number 13. Number 13. I have a feeling I'm going to be holding on to that for a while. It's such a nice jar. A felted, yeah. And I don't mind because it's beautiful. 
this little felted gnome. I can do seven on this little guy. If anyone's interested, he has wooden feet, natural wood, and he does stand up really nicely. $7, number 16. And those were my regular items, and I will do my add-ons next. I have, this is kind of unusual, but before, again, before I put it on eBay, I'm going to offer here. I have two pairs of work gloves. These are cotton work gloves and they have Rhodes bacon serve on them. I just thought that was interesting. Um, probably somebody who works in loading and unloading a truck that maybe has Rhodes rolls. So I have two of them. If you want a pair for, for $1, um, you can type in R. You can obviously use them for anything you want. They have a little rubber grip on them. So they're new and $1 R. Two of them are available. Kind of weird, I know. Just thought I'd offer them up. And I have this little oh, Patsy. Yeah. You Patsy. You got it. I mean, kind of useful if you're moving things around. You can just put them on. Christy also put them on. Okay, great. Thanks, you ladies. I appreciate it. Um, I have a little tea strainer for $3. It has a little hole, so it fits nicely on top of a mug or a teacup. Those are nice. I have, I have one of those. Yeah. I don't have any... Um, they have no issues with them. They also work well if you're squeezing a lemon. If you squeeze it over this, then it oh, can't just of that. Yeah. Oh gosh, yeah. So that is $3. And you can type in, oh, T for T. T for T. It's just pretty, too. You can. It is pretty. I usually just display mine. But yeah, but I never thought of using it for the lemon. But that's a great idea. Mm -hmm. So I use lemon a lot in my, my water. I see Vanessa. We'll see if anyone else comes in. Last second. All right. Thank you, Vanessa. I'll put you down. Water cold. And I have a cup and saucer, a little tiny cup and saucer. No chips or cracks or crazing. It has a little decal or transfer on both sides. I love the little shape of the, the handle. So this is $4, a little tiny cup and saucer. Yes. S, S for saucer. S for saucer, not marked. I would have loved to have that when Jeannie was a little. And we used to do it in the little tea parties. <laughs> yeah. All right. I have a small red cloisonne vase, or sorry, not vase, plate for $3. You can type in C for cloisonne if you are interested in this. Made in China. It does have a couple little um, spots where the enameling has come away from the metal. I do want to point that out. That's why it's only $3. C for cloisonne is like a brick red. Fun. Oh, thanks, Vanessa. You guys are making it easy. I don't have to do any drawing tonight. Oh, she's got the blue one. I remember you selling the other one. Oh, right. I didn't realize she had gotten that. Sorry. I'm, oh, I know what I'll do. E. E. X. Okay. I have a um, little nylon bag folded up in here. So like a reusable shopping bag. And it comes in a little pouch. Um, I'd rather not open it because then I'd have to fold it up again. <laughs> but um, it has little dachshund dogs on it, wiener dogs, dachshund, doxies. Put in D, it's $3, D for 
for Doxy if you're interested. Just slide it in your purse, a nice little reusable shopping bag. It has a blue, you could always put it on your keychain. Blue background. Yeah. You could, yeah. It clip on nicely. So that is D for dog or Doxy. Then I have some zero dollar items. Um, this cross, it has a little easel back stand so you can set it up and display it. So zero dollars has blessed the Lord on oh my soul. This is a light blue, kind of a, a grayish light blue color. It's probably a modern piece. Zero dollars and is number C, C or letter C for cross. I guess I already did C, but we'll do it again. C. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. And my other zero dollar items are these little cat ear headbands. Oh. <laughs> quite a few of these left. This one's blue, like a turquoise blue. So let's type in B for blue if you want this. And I have three all together that I'm offering today. Here's a leopard one. You can type in L for leopard. Again, it's zero. Patsy put B in. Patsy wants the blue. And then I have pink, a pink leopard. And you can type in P for pink. Patsy put L. L, okay, I wasn't sure if it was L or I. Okay, Patsy. And then the pink leopard is still available. And that's also zero. Oh, I did have one more thing, actually, that I forgot. Um, these can be $1 each. It's P for pink. P for Vanessa, maybe. Oh, I betcha. I don't know. Is that what you mean, um, Apple? I'm confused. You put P for V. Don't confuse me this late at night. Yeah. <laughs> oh. These are cute. Yep, for Vanessa. Okay. Oh. <laughs> you want Vanessa to have it? Awesome. Okay, I have. I bought these for my dad, um, and I got too many of them. They are just these little squishy balls. They're great little stress balls, or to exercise your hands. Um, if you have, you know, he has Parkinson's, so he, he can use a little exercise for his hands. And I have several different colors. I have orange, blue, green, white, red, yellow. If you want one of these for a dollar, you can throw it in your box. Just type in the color that you want. And that is it. They're kind of soft and squishy. Great for like a little fidget things or exercising your hands. Okay. Apple wants blue. Christy wants red. Okay. Christy red. Anybody else? Okay. I know it's a little unusual, but I was like, what am I going to do with all these balls? <laughs> that is it for me. Okay. Think, oh, Patsy wants orange. Gotcha, Patsy. Patsy orange. And they're all wrapped or they've never been used. So. Okay, quick recap. Oh, I have the cat tile, $25. The tile itself is 8 by 12 and you have to add the frame in there. It does have a hanger in the back. It's $25. And it is number 50. So 25 for number 50. I'm going to try to go as fast as I can. I have the uh, Tanala style. It was made in Mexico. It might not be Tanala, but it's a little butter dish. It's no marking on it. Um, the person I bought it from said he got it in Mexico. It has a 
sunflower on both sides. It's just beautiful. It's like a really dark, dark blue. And then the beautiful orange. Uh, this is um, $8 and it's number 51. <laughs> you can throw it to the co-workers. Uh, I have the mother and child. Well, this is $14, number 52. It's pretty heavy. It's really weighty. No marking. I don't know who makes it. Um, it's all black. And it's like a really heavy, uh, I'm going to say a resin. So a lot of those are made out of soapstone. I don't, oh, really? I don't know. How do you tell? I don't think this yeah. is. I remember, I remember looking them up. Um, before and a lot of them are made out of some type of soapstone. Oh, gosh, I have no idea. I don't even know. I don't know. It could be, but I, gosh, I don't know. I wish I knew for sure. I didn't really research it. But, anyways, it's $14 if you're interested, and it is um, number 52. And then I have this chopstick set, it's a, um, a set for four. And it is $20, and it's number 53. This is absolutely beautiful. You have four of the little sauce dishes, and I believe this is teak wood. Very, very good quality, just beautiful. You have the four sets of chopsticks, and it has uh, the inlaid wood on the handles. And then you have the little... Um, chopstick holders that also have the little inlaid wood. Let's see if that'll focus. There we go. It's really, really pretty. Beautiful set. Makes a nice gift set. Has a nice box. I'm going to show you the box, what it looks like. If I can open it. <laughs> I should have. So the top really nice so again that is twenty dollars number 53 if you're interested in that and then i have the little asian figures um there's a five you get all five of these um you get this little guy he's got it like a porcelain head you get this little uh ceramic one he was a shaker but he's missing his partner and he's missing his stopper he was made in japan you get this little asian guy and then these two this little couple and this is marked i didn't realize it has a marking on it now these are chalkware and they do have some little chippies on them and most of the chipping is on the paint and it does say, let's see if we can find it. They both have a mark on the back. Let's see if you're going to be able to see it. Come on, focus. Okay, we're trying to make me do it this way. It says something craft. Uh, it's not treasure craft. Let's see if we can do this. Oh, come on. Why aren't you focusing on him? Oh, there we go. Um, I don't know if it says model craft. See right there? Maybe it's, I don't know, something craft. Anyway, so you get those two. So you get all five for $10. A little, cute little lot of Asian figures. And then the tiki mugs. These are going to be choice. Well, yes. Well, they're each. So now they're each. Um, they're eighteen dollars each. Number fifty-seven. Fu Manchu. They're ceramic, really good condition. Made in Japan. See, I hear that really weird noise again. I can't figure out what that is. 
and it's uh, Orchids of Hawaii, and there's two, and they're $18 each. Really cool tiki mugs. And then the last item, I think the last item, is this face. And this is $10, number 61. And somebody said what it was, and I can't remember now. Um, but it's possibly brass. It's carved. And I think Kathy was saying they dip it in aluminum. I don't, I didn't really understand all that. Um, there is a name for it. Oh, you know, it almost sounds like cicadas, doesn't it? Cicadas or cicadas. Um, so you do, so you, everybody, so other people hear it too then. So $10, number 61 for that. Now we'll do our add-on. So if you made a purchase with me tonight, or if you have an open box with me, I have a few items. I don't have very many. I just have a few tonight. Um, I have these little votive candle holders. They're modern. They're not vintage. They're by Safari. Um, they're glass. They're, it's $3 and it's the V for votive. If you're interested in those, just little votive holders. Or you can use them as shot glasses. Your choice. <laughs> um, and then I have this little, it's like, it looks like Tanala. It's a Tanala style donkey. He's really cute. He's just a little guy. He was from my own collection. Little tiny guy. Um, he's going to be $5, and it's T for Tonala, even though I'm not sure if that's what it is. Or T is in Tom. And then I have a little stone elephant. This is $4. I don't know what kind of stone this is. Patsy, I don't think I have an open box for you, my dear. I can hold it for you if you want, if nobody else wants it. <laughs> this is um, a little elephant, and this is going to be $4, and it's S for stone. And then um, these are $0 items. And I don't know the size of these. I know they're different. Um, I'm going to have, I have two. I have a pink bracelet it's elastic this one's smaller um i don't know how you measure these do you measure these um would you just measure it like this leanne how do you measure these well you make these so that's why oh, I bracelets. um yeah you can measure it that way just kind of stretch it out a little flat. Stretch it a little bit. yeah Gosh, i don't know it's so they're like seven and a half inches all together average that look like it's about oh i would say this one's smaller i would say it's about seven okay inches. this one this one feels tighter on me it's, it's pretty tight now not tight but very fitted you know i guess okay. i could measure my wrist so yeah. this one um it's a cute little bracelet and it is P for pink, and zero dollars. And then I have another bracelet. This one's larger. See, this one fits me, has a little bit, this is how I like them. So this one's a little bit longer, or So this one, let's see if we can measure this. Well, Patsy, nobody else has um, has put in for it. So if you want, I can go ahead and um, get that out to you. It's up to you. Um, this is this one's large. This one's like this one will be like eight inches. Now these are zero dollars. Remember. So uh, and this one has little lava beads right here. There's three lava beads. So if you yeah, three lava bees. So if you want to put like little um, essential oils on there, 
the rest of it is sparkly. I don't know if it's glass. It feels cold. So zero dollars and it's B for black. For this one. And those, I think that's it. That's all my items. Oh, I see Vanessa for B and Patsy for B. Okay, since there's two of you, I'm going to draw numbers. Okay, I only see two, right? Mm -hmm. So Vanessa is number one. And Patsy is number two. Good night, Bonnie. Good night, Bonnie. Thank you so much for coming. Good night, Bonnie. And we're going to shake, shake, shake. And this is going to number one, who which is what I say number one was Vanessa. Vanessa. So Vanessa, that's going to you. Thank you so much. Congratulations, and Vanessa. I think that's it. That's everything. Let's bring us all back. I hear that noise now. No, 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 I don't. Now I hear a different noise altogether. <laughs> now I hear like a. Swishy, I hear nothing. I hear like a swishy noise. Or like I wonder, a if, wonder if it's some kind of feedback on on Streamyard or something. It know. could be. It could be. So thank you everybody so much for coming and joining us tonight. We really appreciate it. Um, so Sabrina, what do you have coming up? You don't hear that? Um, <laughs> Wednesday at 6 p.m. Eastern, um, a sale on my channel. Um, I don't think I have anything before then. No, because our purse sale is not until the 18th. Right. So, um, and then Friday at 5 p.m. Eastern on my channel. Um, and then Sunday back here with you ladies. What about you, um, Leanne? I don't have anything extra this week. Um, just Sunday back with you. Um, and I think it's on Sabrina's channel this week, this coming week. Okay. And um, I did post a couple drop sales though, if anyone's interested in little golden books. Um, two different price points because of different condition uh, categories. And then tomorrow I'm going to be posting a drop sale on my junk journal supply kits for oh, basically for beginners. Um, some, some oh, that sounds interesting. Nice packets of materials. Oh, so cool. Oh, I'd like to see that. If you're interested in that, check it out. It'll cool. come out tomorrow. Um, that sounds neat. Okay. And I'm not going to have a sale Thursday because I have to go get my taxes done. <laughs> so um, I'm going to try to get a crafting video out on my other channel, uh, Picasso Cat Gets Creative. I should have posted that in the link and I forgot, but that's okay. Um, and then, yeah, I don't think have have anything until Sunday. Next week, we'll have the purse sale on the 18th. Um, on Thursday, purse and accessory sale. Scar with the three of us, <laughs> scarves, yeah. jewelry, hats, whatever, and purses. <laughs> so that'll be fun. That's always fun when we do that. So that'll be on a Thursday. I might even have some t-shirts. I bought a bunch of t-shirts um, a while ago. I had Jeannie and I just went through it and I think she ended up getting one of the t-shirts. <laughs> but um, so yeah, that's what's coming up. Oh yeah, enjoy the eclipse, everybody. That's gonna be pretty soon. Mm -hmm. uh, Tomorrow, right? Well, well, in a couple of hours. It'll be today for some of you. Yes. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's going on. So thank you, everybody, so much. Uh, again, go check out. Um, I put the link for Kathy's GoFundMe uh, down below in the description. So please uh, check that out. And if you can, go and, you know, whatever you can do to help. Every, every little bit helps. And then I also put uh, Leanne and Sabrina's channel links down below. And if you could make a comment, that always helps the channel. So if you could make a comment down below, that helps a lot too. So again, thank you everybody so much. And we'll see you around in the chats, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. Good night. Thanks, Good night. Bye, everyone. Bye. -bye.